I'll keep on dialing. I'll keep on dialing. Nine, nine, nine. Hello. Hope you're doing good. Shout out to uh, Tall in Estonia. Shout out to Phoenix USA. Shout out to Saui. Oh, Saui Estonia. Interesting. Shout out to uh, Dos Hermanas. Uh, Spain and shout out to Brisbane, Australia or Austria, Brisbane. Oh, Australia. I wonder what Austria is then. If AU is Australia. But I appreciate the love. Hey, we're going up a little bit. All right. Anyway, daily uh TikTok uh cringe. He got me, but I'm good. Oh, he can't spam the charge attacks like I can. Oh. Bro got me first. Bye. Yeah, I'm about to blow it. Pause. <coughs> Classic choked on water. Yep, as always. As always. <coughs> Stay hydrated. Shit in my ass. Broke burger is life. Broke burger is love. Drugs are bad, okay? Okay. Good shot. Oh, <laughs> they they're getting cooked. On I'm getting cooked. You're incredibly kind and smart. I met you in a person. Hey, he got me. You know what? One heart though, but hey, oh. at least I got a heart. The charge attacks like I can. Appreciate that one, dude. He was still in disbelief that you were inviting someone you barely knew over to your home. He kept thinking that maybe it was a bad idea, but curiosity had gotten the best of him. He nodded slightly. There was literally nothing to lose, so he decided to go along with it. He decided to sit down on the couch while he spoke. You're offering me popcorn and Pepsi now. Pepsi now. What will you offer me next? Beer? No, nah, I don't drink. Sorry. He was mildly surprised by your answer. He had expected you to be the type to drink, but That's he crazy, was proven yeah. wrong. He chuckled a bit before speaking be again. Good! You're too young to be drinking anyway. Puts the right movie on, but it's only in Spanish. <laughs> Let's just continue watching the movie! Accidentally ate the whole... Pep... <laughs> <laughs> the fuck was that burp? It had like a different levels. He was still in disbelief that you were in- Hey, three hearts, though. Hey, appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. Oh, uh, back to one. <laughs> still better than nothing. He stared at you in complete disbelief for a few moments. You were starting to go on his nerves with your stupidity. How could you eat an entire Pepsi bottle? Have you lost all your brain cells? No, I'm just built different. Yo, I'm built different. You're definitely- he paused for a moment as he carefully chose his next word. Autistic. Different than most people I've met. The classic autism. He seems slight. Is that why you are so carefree around strangers? Yes. <laughs> That's just great. <laughs> he deadpanned again as he watched you react to the movie. You were completely lost in it, and it was actually kind of cute how easily you were scared. He chuckled to himself as he spoke. You're so easily scared, it's almost adorable. Thanks. He chuckled know, quietly bro. to himself after your response. Was he was actually me. starting to become a tiny but amused by you. Uh, like, <laughs> bro started to like me. I can't find my body. I can't, I can't find my body. I 
can't find my Tell yourself no you ain't shit Blame on the plug and you get hit Brains in the drink, yeah, I'll drink up Alright Alright Hey, still dope. Appreciate it. No negative, negative uh, comments. Two hearts is still better than nothing. That is facts. Anyway, it is React Monday. Where did we left off? Oh. Shouldn't learn Romanian. There are many things I love about Romania, my chosen adopted home for almost two years now. The magnificent scenery, the wonderful food, the incredible Wait, people. He's Romanian? The language, however, oh, is yeah. most definitely not one of them. Now, Romanian is spoken by around 25 million music. people, mostly concentrated in southeastern Europe and Romania and Moldova, with historical pockets of population also present in Ukraine, Serbia, and even Hungary. When people actually remember it exists, it's usually characterized as quite a linguistic odd duck regionally, as it's the only Eastern Romance language in existence. This makes it the often forgotten about fifth member of the major Latin languages tree, along with Italian, Spanish, Portuguese, and depending on whether or not you consider it a language, French. Your uncle knows your tuna. Romanians themselves are very proud of this fact, often referring to themselves as a Latin island in a Slavic sea. Alongside this, the American Foreign Services Institute, which is in charge of educating those going into CIA coups and destabilizing fledgling nations, classifies Romanian with all the other Latin languages as Category 1 the easiest possible language for English speakers to learn. Having set aside a decent chunk of study time really? daily for this language for well over a year, Hello. I'm here to tell the FSI that they are just full of shit. Romanian oh. is not oh. Hope all y'all doing good. I don't know which underpaid intern put this on the website, but either way, I hope he got fired or worse ended up dating a Hello Kitty girl. It's been an entirely okay. unwelcome surprise to find it so frustrating. No, that's Honestly, crazy though. I'm convinced that yeah, we didn't get to this, so this is where we left off. Unlike its romance siblings, Romanian did not develop organically in the wild and instead was engineered in the depths of the dungeon of fear and hunger itself. Its difficulty comes down to its quite frankly utterly oh, bizarre well. grammar, but before going into that, out of fairness, I'm first gonna list the positives of this unique language. The vocabulary is quite easy to acquire and retain, and in my opinion is very straightforward and really? literal language to construct in daily use. It's if easy. you have a large vocabulary in English, you'll be able to find common Latin roots in a good amount of vocabulary. It's also oh. easy to write and pronounce, as it's almost entirely phonetic, so spelling is simple and when you hear it spoken, you know how to write it. It's also the most powerful Latin language, meaning that a Romanian speaker will learn the other Latin languages far faster than other Roman speakers will learn Romanian. But that's it. Here's where the positives end and where the Kafka nightmare of learning Romanian rears its ugly head. Full disclosure, I've been studying Romanian daily for well over a year now and in doing so I've soared to the level of a oh, not, not quite Romanian? a one yet. And uh, here's why. Thought it was. Uh, I'm doing normal as always. Nothing good, nothing bad. Or I guess I'm doing good. Uh, monthly listeners is going up a little bit. The first major grammatical hurdle you'll encounter are the genders. Like the majority of European genders. languages, to the dismay of non-binary people, Romanian is a heavily gendered language. Although annoyingly, in contrast to the other Romanian, yeah, um, is a like the majority of European. In Estonia, yeah, no grammar gender system. So we just call the same thing, everyone. European languages, to the dismay of non binary people, there's no Romanian she, him, or there's no her, him, is a heavily gendered language. Although, annoyingly, in contrast to the other Romance languages, it's not always 100% clear what gender something is when you look at the word. Because why would it be? Also, unlike its romance siblings, Romanian has the linguistic oddity of also including the neuter gender, which at first seemed like no big deal. But it actually is, and uh, quite a big f deal. 
Because as it turns out, in Romanian, being neuter isn't its own gender. It means that a noun is masculine when singular, but feminine when plural. And it's super How common with a ton awful. of nouns that do this. From a or linguistics from perspective, this is so freaking weird that the only other languages I could find with certainty that do this are some Bro, Bantu alien. languages from Africa like Swahili. Why this? Keep it up. I hey, appreciate it, man. I'm never giving up. Never ever, no matter what. This unique feature is so annoying, has to do with pluralizing, which itself is such a miserable experience, I'd rather have my nails plucked out than have to generate window in Romanian. Masculine what? nouns aren't so bad, they end with a U or consonant, but also sometimes an E, I or E. To increase their number, you just add an E and that's it. Feminine nouns are a completely different story. These nouns are identified by ending with an E, Ie or ia, but also can end in e or i, just like masculine. Pluralizing feminine nouns means you'll replace the ending with an e or i, or uri, or i, or ale, or iele. Or Ayo. maybe you don't need to change them at all. Or sometimes you change the word completely, or something else completely random, like here. This is where the neuter nouns will really kill you, because a really huge percentage of the nouns Allah. used in daily life are actually neuter. Because f you, that's why. Pluralizing in this language is completely without rhyme or reason, and instead, the rules are seemingly chosen by lunatic dictators based on what random object has upset them that day. Rabbits, yepuri, trees, kopach, and dogs, kuni, are allowed to stay masculine Kini. no matter what, while pula, keys, k, and cars, machini, are forever female, but chairs, scaune, Car aquariums, aquari, and pens, pixuri, are punished by turning female when kept together in a group. And this irregularity isn't a bug, it's a feature of the language. Tons of daily vocabulary are neuter. And because it's a strictly gender language, getting the gender right that's uh, why you shouldn't learn Romanian. It's a major component of saying a basic sentence without sounding brain damaged. And if you ask Romanians why their language does this, they'll just pause and then say, Oh well, it just sounds better this way. No, it doesn't. It's ridiculous that your language is based on vibes rather than actual rules, and Romanians shouldn't be constantly arguing with each other on how to correctly pluralize something. Unlike Romanian, Hungarian is strictly logical and just based Hey, Hungarian, a oh, long lost, uh, 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 Hungry Brethren, something like that. Based on this alone, Transylvania, playing Rec Room, I should be given straight back to Hungary. Incorrectly pluralizing further comes to bite you in the ass with articles. Thanks to its Latin lineage, the articles are tacked onto the end of the word. So if you don't know the gender, you can't Hello. use the correct article, which adds another level of frustration when you're sitting there for 30 seconds trying to think of how to say Romani au obtinut firele de cupru de la vecini mei. The Romanians obtained the copper wires from my neighbors. Roman to Romani is able to stay uh, masculine, Roman. but copper wires is neutral, meaning the singular masculine fir wire must be given the feminine plural of fire and neighbor yeah. or vecin is allowed to stay masculine as vecini. Like why vecini. couldn't you just had an article in front like every normal Latin language under the sun? Roman like this, Romania. Again, uh, even Hungarian knows to have its articles in front of the word and everyone bitches about it being unnecessarily complicated. But wait, it gets worse. In Estonia, I think it's Roma. I'm not sure, sure though, I may be forgotten. Uh, uh, no, I'm good on that. I need to find the best way to learn math and science. <sighs> It's brilliant. From Romania Whoa. to Bulgaria. Brilliant. To Thousands of interactive Romania. lessons yeah. in math. It seems like every language has their own linguistic quirks when conjugating their verbs, and Romanian is no different. It depends on the verb ending, but in general, the first person singular, yo, aka nice. will end in a consonant or u. Second person singular, tu, aka you, will end in an e. He or she, aka yell or yeah, will end in either an e or a. 
we or Noi will. Nah. I didn't stay for the period though. Find it with an mm. The plural you voy ends with right, some. Because you were tryharding on the rec room online game. Sort of eats, uh, and then apparently the Romanian grammar police drank too much Mona that they lost interest in creating their language logically because Romanian. they, meaning ye or yele, will be they. either exactly the same word as I or he she because again, f you have fun conjugating. I've been told that supposedly there is logic to these verb conjugations, and this is a statement that I can agree with, at times, occasionally. But then again, who the hell has time to read all these tables? I got bills and rent to pay, what do you take me as? A political science student? Hell no. But before what? you start to get too comfortable, S joins the chat. Squished between two linking verbs, like S German. functions like the English to. For example, I don't want to learn Romanian, would be nu vreau să învăț rămânește. At first glance, this looks pretty simple, but somehow, like the Japanese deciding a kind of sounds like German as well. The fuck? Single orange needs five different layers of plastic packaging, so do the Romanians. It literally sound like, get to the chopper. Literally sounded like that. It ain't slavic. Decide to add infinite. Yeah, it sounded. I mean, it's Latin. It said it's Latin. The layers to the onion of frustration like there, are what should be a simple concept. Because when you want to say he, she, or they do something, the rules for verb conjugations yeah, are Latin. completely chucked out of the window. You have here the simple sentence: Sequil nu verbeste romaneste. The secular doesn't speak Romanian. Now, let's say you need to be more specific and say okay. the secular refuses uh, to speak Romanian. Uh, you think it'll be something along the lines of Sequil refuse să vorbește românește. You insolent babbling buffoon. You simpleton. Developmentally delayed two-year-old Romanian children pity your forever smooth brain and may Zamoxis have mercy on your soul. God knows why, but when it's a he, she, or they needing two linked verbs, you have to change the second verb to a completely different form. Instead, obviously, down. the verb of or be in the previous sentence must be He's going to sleep. changed and it should read Sequil refusa se vorbe. Uh, he can finally sleep now. Aska Romaneste. And there are tons of different ways to do this. For example, if you update Cocolar Fura un radio or the Cocolars steal a radio to Fuck the Cocolars want to steal a radio, the verb has to change and instead it becomes Cocolari Vorsa Fure un radio. See, Romanul pleaca din Romania or the Romanian leaves Romania versus Romanul vrea să place din Romania cât mai repede meaning the Romanian wants to leave Romania as soon as possible it may not sound so bad but look just look at all the pointless changes you have to remember and when you ask the Romanians why god why it just sounds better this why way <laughs> So far, what I've spoken about is annoying, but still pretty manageable in the bigger picture. But now we have reached the cases, a truly wonderful living relic of Latin. The Romanian language considers itself the closest living language to Latin, due to directly inheriting its notoriously nightmare-inducing grammar. This is most glaringly well, evident sure through the Estonian? retention of the Latin case system. Uh, easy, cause no one fucking speaks Estonian. It's a dead language. Bro, Estonia is so small. Which the other Romans languages were smart enough to throw away faster than a person his religion when his dog dies. Romanians, however, are very proud They're to better off learning Finnish. carry on this lineage, much in the way an antisocial pet owner is proud to inherit their father's rabid child-hating pit bull, or a future school shooter is proud to inherit their father's gun collection. For sure in for theory, Americans. noun cases, also known as noun declinations, aren't that difficult a concept and are actually very common in European languages. The idea behind cases is that the noun will change its form depending on how it's being used in a sentence. Like for example, depending on if the noun Transylvania is giving or receiving benefiting from the action or it's possession given. needs to be conveyed. Noun Transylvania will have to change its form. Simple. Romanian has five cases. Accusative is when a noun is the object of the verb. For example, in the sentence Unguri nu mi vor vinde meech, meaning the Hungarians won't sell me the meech, the meech is in the accusative case. 
Now, were Fuck we to say bitch. Romania of Furat Transylvania or the Romanians stole Transylvania, Romani, aka Romanians, are in the nominative case, as they are the subject of the sentence doing an action. In this language, the accusative and nominative case are expressed in the same manner, with basically <clears throat> just needing the definite article tacked on. Which, if you're someone who isn't familiar with the concept of cases, say an English speaker, is extremely confusing. Romanian's vocative oh. case is so simple it hardly counts as a case, as it's just used when addressing someone directly. For example, when my fiance yells at me, Porcule, when I eat all her special chocolate fudge brownie oh, ice cream, oh, pork, right. meaning pig, just has ule tacked on to transform it into you pig. But the accusative, nominative, and vocative cases aren't why we are here, and were Romanian cases limited to these, would all be sleeping so much better at night. However, there are two others that need singling out. I'm talking about my current sleep paralysis demon, the genitive and dative cases. Romanian's genitive and dative cases are the stuff of eldritch nightmares. In theory, they shouldn't be so bad. Nouns are modified to the genitive case to I'll show possession, to essentially the same as of or apostrophe s in English. And the dative case marks who slash what is receiving an action, basically how to works in English, aka who is receiving the action. But for God knows whatever reason, Romanians decide to give them the exact same form. You might be shrugging thinking it doesn't sound like such a big deal. Or if you're American, you're probably raising your hand to ask to have the concept of a case explained for the 500th time. But listen to me, there is no curse in English, Serbian, Hungarian, Guatemalan, Finnish, or Tongan to express how frustrating learning Romanian dative and genitive case makes it to construct a simple, even toddler level sentence. I mean, imagine if you were learning English and the concept of to and of were expressed with the same exact morphological forms and how quickly this would become unbearably annoying. In practice, this can mean that to correctly say what should be straightforward sentences with simple concepts can take literally uh, months of intensive study. English Getting to the to actual learn. declinations themselves, you may be tempted to let your guard down, as the masculine rules are actually pretty simple. For example, let's take the words nekaz, sorrow, and magyar, Hungarian, to speak about the Hungarian Magia? man's sorrow. We look at from the perspective that the Hungarian man owns his sorrow. It is possessive, therefore genitive rules apply. We simply add a definitive article onto nekaz to make it nekazo, or the sorrow, and add the article to magyar to make magyaro, or the Hungarian, and then add ului to show possession and transform it into Nekazul Magyarului, or literally the sorrow of the Hungarian. To make so it, it was even easier to learn in school. Plural and talk about the Hungarian people's collective sorrow at the fact their sons have no bread, we just changed the ending Ului to the masculine plural ending of Ilor to get Nekazul Magyarilor, the sorrow of the Hungarians. As the noun Romanians or Romani is also masculine, if we want to say the sorrow of the Hungarians is pleasing to the Romanians, we are now utilizing the dative case for the noun Romanians. So the same rule applies and it becomes Romanilor le place ne casul magyarilor, as Romani becomes Romanilor because something is being done to Lord. them. As ridiculous as this looks, just like pluralizing and gendering, the dative and genitive rules for masculine nouns are, at least for this language, bizarrely straightforward and simple. But then we learn the dative and genitive rules for the feminine nouns. Now, I'm far too classy and cultured to go for a cheap shot here, but when learning Romanian, I must point out that you'll quickly notice how simple and regular the rules are with any masculine. I miss something. What? I miss what? What did I miss? What? More like I miss someone. A noun and how nightmarish and difficult the infinite feminine so exceptions off, so to the rules oh. are. Make a joke here yourself. Anyways, for dative and genitive cases, when the nouns and adjectives involved are feminine, they do something so stupid. I'm going to lose 100 IQ points trying to explain that, yes, such a ridiculous concept is a common feature of this cursed language. Yep. For God knows whatever reason, when you speak about oh, the teacher's yapping and yapping, you can't listen to shit. 
Okay. Out a feminine noun as either I the mean, recipient true, of an action dative or as a possessive genitive, everything singular becomes plural, which also affects all the other modifiers in the sentence. So if you want to yell at Vasile for spilling Mona on your book, my book's cover is covered in spirit Mona, you have the root words of Cartea. I miss the rec room? No, I don't miss rec room. What? or my book, Coperta, the no cover, true. and yes, the Acoperita Cumona is covered in Spirit Mona. It has to become Coperta. Wait, how is politics not born? Coperta Curtimele, yes, the Acoperita Cumona. Because the singular book now has to become plural, going from Cartea to Carts, and so do its modifiers. So you better have never skipped Romanian feminine noun day at the gym because any two nouns in a row have to be turned genitive and if you don't know, you'd better be resigned to sounding like a developmentally delayed three year old. If anime wasn't in this guy's video, this guy would be ticked up at YouTube. I feel like he's like a, um, he's like a girl but like he's like uh, attracted to girls. World until quite so what that makes him a fin boy. I feel like he's a fin boy or some shit. Part when talk about rec room. What manual? I don't know what you're saying, bro. Literally hitting upper B1 okay, level, or you better have patient friends willing to sit there quietly for five no, minutes I mean, while you go through a 300 different picture, possible but... feminine noun endings in your head, only for your first 10 guesses to be wrong, anyways. Yay! Were the genitive and native cases you didn't read the rec room comment? I did though. What? The like uh sweaty players or something. This is really adding your try hard. Next layer of frustration is when expressing what should be the, the very simple concept of this and that, aka the demonstratives. For this, the singular masculine and feminine are a chest and a chasta. Plural, they're a chest and a cheste. But don't forget, it all depends on how demonstratives function in the sentence. If you're trying to say to this or of this, all possible options double. Off or this. instead, you can choose one of these eight additional ways to express this. However, the common folk often instead use one of these other eight forms or perhaps one of these eight instead. With that, it's a similar story. Depending on whether or not you want to have your noun be singular or plural or before or after your demonstrative, plus taking into account its case function in the sentence. You have 16 base choices. But if you don't want to use the more literal or correct terminology and instead want the common people speech, you'll instead use one of these other 8 choices or perhaps one of these 8 additional options it's instead. And much. God have mercy on your soul if you need okay. to convey the term the other one or use the word the same. Basically depending on how it's used in the sentence, there are as many ways to express this or that in Romanian as there are stars in the known universe. And seeing as they look and sound basically identical to my unwashed Vinuturi in fact ears, if I'm unfortunate enough to have to use one of these forms in everyday speech, I just start with a strong ah uh, sound and pretend uh, to cough while looking away and continue my sentence as if nothing happened. All while uh, the Romanians themselves are begging me to just switch to English already so we can stop speaking such a curse. Yeah, I've been to in game too much. It a lot. A lot to... What? I'm yapping too much when I'm uh, playing games. What? Just language. All in all, if you literally have to yap. Brug burger. If you want to experience patrolling the dungeons of fear and hunger in real life, where the completely arbitrary rules were designed by the forgotten gods who couldn't care less about you, whether you succeed or fail is left up to the cruel flip of a coin, whether you make it out alive is completely out of your own power, and the dark cosmic forces couldn't care less about assisting your meaningless quest. <laughs> Romanian may be the language for you. I give the language a 10 out of 10. I couldn't recommend more wholeheartedly. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. 10, if you did, give it a like recommend. and smash the subscribe button. And if you... What is this clip? So I 
and dove and toast. Then we always toasting to some more wins. Open, she busted open. Bitch was just born to twerk. Born to bend her ass over and shake it in a fucking Joel Santana video. Okay. <laughs> Get a twerk. Bro, bitches really be born for just nothing. Like, born for men's expo exposure and, and for fucking purposes only. So I dove in, toasting. We always toasting to some more wins. Open, she busted open. Bitch was just born to twerk. No. FNAF AI generated What the fuck? Pussy Turned to human. Bro just died. <laughs> that looks so goofy. He's human, I mean, yeah, but they turned back, I guess. What the fuck? That Stalin trick? The fuck? So, we're gonna do a little test here to see if you guys. A couple things. I wanna say she was a plant because she did. The woman, the sign what? that comes up wasn't even her sign. She wasn't holding a sign. You look closely, she was adjusting her glasses. You know, she, she already had her phone out. She um, and knew. Everybody was shocked. She wasn't the only person reacting like that when you panned it out. That's one. Two, I, I wish people was... Wait, what? This was all scripted? No. Stop trying to tell me and explain to me about Bro, shooting. What? As if they have the authority to tell me what... As if I don't know what I'm talking about. People are looking at this... The activity of the shooter in like a weird, perfect scenario. And many of these people keep talking about hunting and all this other stuff. And it's like... Well, if you're a hunter and you got experience with rifles, you know that I'm telling the truth and you know this is not a nuance. I said in a video that I shared online that's going viral, I don't honestly agree 100% at these follow-up shots because the follow-up shots will literally be shooting your same bullet three times. Impossible to do. I don't care who you are. It's impossible to hit the same hole in the same place three times in a row in, in rapid succession. Impossible. And beyond that, I call the guy amateur. People get mad at me for saying, he's, do you know he's an amateur? When I say amateur, I mean a person that haven't killed people through sniper. The kid literally was scoping the place Low to find effort. out what's the best angle to shoot and kill the president. He was counter. He, this man came up. I think this kid came up with his plan on the spot. They yeah. identified him walking around and pacing. I think so, too. Why are you pacing if you already had it planned out? He didn't have it planned out. The boy is looking, and he go, okay, snipers are right there. Let me go around here, okay? There's no yeah. security over here, okay? This can't they just be left this whole building open. All secret service. Nobody's around the building. Nobody's going to stop me. I'm just going to get a high point. Oh, shoot. If I get on this building, I got a straight shot to Donald Trump from right here. He probably went back to his truck, got his rifle, walked up there. He probably already scoped that there was a ladder before he got his rifle. Cause as you can see in this video, he's not, he's not, he don't have his rifle. He just, he just walking around. See, he's scoping it out. Yeah. He's planning on the spot, on the spot. This 20 year old amateur found a way 
to, to smoke the president. These Secret Service people had months, weeks, days to figure this out. A 20-year-old did it on the spot. Fire everybody. Everybody fired. There's a lot to go into it. But let me get to the breaking news real quick. Because I don't know, I just get, I, I see people in my comment section and it just bothers me. they like, no, uh, uh, the, the guy on TV said he could train Same somebody in 10 crow. minutes to take that shot. Well, yeah, in the perfect conditions. If you're just sitting there and the trainer is next to you and he's, he's reminding you of trigger pull, he's yeah. reminding you at the, at, the, you know, at, the, at the bottom of your breath, slow your breathing, focus, you know, t no counter terrorists, I mean, no Same counter uh, uh, snipers. You, 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 you don't have any fear of death. You, you're in a, in, in a uh, position I mean, where yeah, you're not exposed. Innocent yeah, person. You, yeah, 10 minutes a person can hit anybody from that distance. When you add in all those components, bro, that, that wasn't Most an easy shot. Agree. I don't care what nobody say. Then they say all somebody right. can do it with iron sights. Man, if you train, you're a regular dude with a basic AR-15, you finna hit somebody from 150 yards on top yeah, of a right. roof under stress yeah, with iron sights? Okay. Um, we have just learned. 70k points, nice. Let's go. Hmm? That the Trump rally shooter Thomas Crook's parents were looking for him in the hours leading up to the shooting. Cards, yeah. We're now told they eventually called law enforcement Curse. to report that Crook's was missing and they were worried. And they also were told, those parents, what? You don't want to learn about AI. Okay, then good luck figuring out. Yeah, but it's literally like a villain name. Uh, are now being Thomas cooperative Crooks. now with authorities, but they gave them the heads up that something's going on like with villain. our son. We are worried. We don't know the texture or the details of their concerns. So in other words, well, were they worried that he had a gun? Were they worried, you know, what were they worried about? Were they worried that he was gonna try to a, a, attempt yeah. to kill a sitting president and then go ahead and assassin, turn into an assassin and, and, and kill another person Perfect. and Real injure two others? It was an attempted assassination on Trump, but he managed to murder anyway. Are, are, are we talking about that? What were they giving the cops a heads up about? This is the first time we are hearing this. We'll stay on the story and we will bring you the details, updates as we get them. Failure, 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 failure. I think that some people think it's a conspiracy, like some people are coordinating together. I just think that the Secret Service ain't really <laughs> under the leadership of that lady. They're not really as good. I, I wouldn't be surprised if Bro plays League of Legends. Good as we think they are. They don't, they, they're not taking or, their job uh, as seriously you, as whatever. they should. There's incompetence Online to go nerd, around. Yeah. It has to be. I don't know anybody. I'm not trying to judge anybody per se. But how, how do we not have contingency plans in place that local law enforcement, if they have suspicious people, that they at least keep an eye on people? Somebody's son is missing it. The day of a Trump rally. Like, I mean, you put two and two together. This could be a concern. Yeah, true. Right? Donald Trump is one of the most loved and hated people in the world. Your son is missing. Whatever they said to him, he's missing. We don't Probably. know where he's at. You would think local law enforcement would be like, hey, man, I, it may not mean nothing to y'all, but this lady's reporting her son missing. She, she's afraid for his life or whatever the case may be. She don't know where he's at. We're just giving you a heads up, man. Uh, we know that Trump is in the city, and this is a small city. It ain't that many people there. A person Holy coming God. up missing the day that Trump is going to be there. Around, around the time he's supposed to show up. I mean, come on, man. I mean, they should be quicker to identify. But, but wait, it gets worse. Crook's parents okay. were looking for him Tiny hours ones. ahead of the assassination. The first sign of trouble, sources tell Fox, was about 30 minutes before the shooting. Back in up the ass, what? <laughs> This is a big crowd. This is a big, big, beautiful crowd. Oh, 
Can't aim his people. Now think about this. Now we know that there were law enforcement agencies I mean, and yeah, contingencies he got a inside of that building that he climbed up on top of. How is it that people are noticing him, but the cops don't? How is it that the cops are not aware of this and the people are? Wait, what? I mean, I, th I think I said that in, in um, kind of a circle, but the way my brain thinks and the way that we should process this is, is almost exactly the same. People are notifying, and the cops aren't getting that feedback. Well, from the, so from cops, the people. Wa cops want him But dead? also the cops don't know. And people are just spectating, not even paying oh, attention. Gosh, they don't yeah. even have the assignment to protect the president of the United States of America, the former president, and potentially be the new president. That, that's not their assignment, and they noticed it. They're not even looking for it. They're trying to watch the rally. The only reason these per people are breathing at this point inside of this building and on the counter sniper team in Secret Service, their, their only purpose in breathing is for them to protect the president. They should be all over the building. I guess, they should yeah. have. I mean, I, I don't get it. This is the only building that can be a threat in the, in the water tower. Test. Those are the only two areas that can be a legitimate threat at a high point. To go, have a nice day. Everybody. Hi, right, Emmanuel. Appreciate you being here. You have a nice day as well. Else, the, the, uh, the counter snipers can see them because they got a, a high point on a slope roof. Barely a slope. Because we have millions and millions. Barely a slope. If that fool with no no gear or nothing can sit on that roof, and why couldn't a, a tactical person be on the roof? True. She need to resign immediately. You know how stupid that is. The slope on this roof ain't even that serious. Clearly, because he up there with no gear. Don't give us a stroke next time. False. No real training. No legitimate training. I think he just had a stroke. He got a gun, he got a gun, he got a gun, he got a gun. How do civilians identify the fact that this guy's on the roof and has a gun and there's no real police response? There's no police response at all. He gets shots off at Donald Trump. <laughs> It's, it it ticks me off, man. I, I mean, want to say that was a words. good timing. It makes me extremely mad that they almost let this man die, on, on in the worst, most negligent performance ever in the history of freaking Secret Service. He should have died if he didn't turn his head. So Secret Service really didn't do anything to protect him. If it wasn't for the the Lord and him turning his head like this, they failed. He the got Lord. assassinated. We might as well say he got assassinated. Amen, brother. Oh my God! Burger, oh, I hope you're having a good day, man. Simpsons predicted this would happen, but Trump did not die. Oh, they predicted Trump would die? Huh. I want y'all to put this in perspective, too. I, I think it's, n it's worth noting. So I want you guys to listen to the succession of, of, of shots because I think this is very important. A lot, of, a lot of people are saying there was exchange of gunfire, and it wasn't. The kids shot all the rounds that he was shooting, and then they came back, and, and they probably had to identify him and, and kind of get that optic right and then pull the trigger on him. Maybe both snipers hit him at the same time, which would have been, I ain't going to lie, that would have been a pretty uh, good sight to see. <laughs> Wrote a clip. Because we have millions and millions of people in our country. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. 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 See, that's, that seemed like the shooter. And then, listen, you can hear the sniper. Right. Totally. Help me. Hey, stop it. I mean, that's about all. Get that son of a. 
Secret Service was so discombobulated. And, 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 and this is what I'm saying. Like, some people. Yeah, they were not organized at all. Huh. Terms. I had to buy this design. We make it. So go on the line and, and get it today. Use the discount code here. Right. Like and subscribe to the channel. Y'all already know what to do. So Let's smart. get into this. Make sure you hit the. So it's like a command test. Okay. The like button. Make sure you hit the like button. See, when I say let's get in it, y'all go to some hit the like button. All right, let's talk about Bill Maher. Bill Maher. I know he's on the inside. There's a soy milk drinking liberal. Was emerging from his pores. Truth about in my Trump personal opinion, is a conservative Trump supporter. He just can't let it go because of all of the things that he said in the past and the people that are in his life that are influential. All of us have those friends that are surrounded by leftist nut jobs and they are terrified to come out and say anything and they still adopt these weird theologies because they still got to play in the middle a little bit. It's safer to play over there than to play on the Republican side for a lot of people. But Bill Maher, I was shocked that he said this. This, this video has worked. been going absolutely viral. And so I said, I need oh, to that give works my... Too. It doesn't have to be all caps. Commentary here. I do think that he's getting closer and closer uh, and closer and closer to Republicans. I don't know about closer to Trump because he got TDS. That's what it's called. Trump derangement syndrome. TDS. What? So I don't know if he's closer to Trump, but he is closer to the Republican ticket. But let's listen to what he had to say because I, I found it to be quite shocking that he has lately been making these admissions. Wrote a clip. Why he why he built weird like Bill Moore is a weird off. built body person. Pause. He just his head is too big for his body. With a head like this, you gotta be like six five. Bill Maher got a six five head on a five foot six body. I'm just hey, I, I, listen. That has nothing to do with nothing. I just saw it and I could not say nothing. I wrote a clip. They hate him so nah, much bro. About the rich king Not to me, bro. Not to me. <laughs> not to me. And who ever did this celebrity rich shooter has done so much damage to the left. Lost a lot of moral high ground. And the old you're the violent people. You know, liberals don't shoot people. Liberal don't solve I guess, sure. Uh, are you sure? Scalise? Trump? I mean, go down the list. Kavanaugh? That dude tried to take Kavanaugh out. I mean, this is all just yap. Airboltik alandab lendude hindu igal suunal. Planeeri oma reisid terveks aastaks Airboltiku megaseilil. Pileti hinnad alga... There's some medical condition that emerged. There's somebody... If the <laughs> this video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. Tatum... Because they lose with Trump... I mean, they lose with Biden, they lose with Kamala. They lose with both of them. It, it, there's no winning. They probably could get a candidate that's better than Kamala, but they can't do that because then they'll be overlooking a black I'm woman. Blame, overlooking uh, a woman. Spam, I guess. Good. Uh, Fall in the same trap you set before us. Wrote a clip. Question that I have on that. These two men are both elderly. Donald Trump is an elderly man who, for whatever reason, was given nine seconds to take a iconic photo op during an active shooter uh, situation. Weird situation. We'll figure that out one day. Um, but his survival of that and, and bouncing right back and going right to his convention is being conveyed in the media world as a sign of strength. Uh, <laughs> of course it is. This uh, uh, current nuts. president of the United States what? is 81 years old and has COVID. Should he be fine in a couple of days? Doesn't that convey exactly the same thing? That he I can't listen to it no more. Nick, give me the other clip. You know how stupid that is? Uh, 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 first oh, of all, you're going to send him to Discord? Uh, it's not fatal. COVID, Donald Trump had COVID. Biden had COVID before, once before. 
Almost everybody in the press corps has had COVID one, at one point in time. Donald Trump got shot. Sick of you, sick How is that the same? All right, forward. let's get to some other uh, uh, dimwits. Wrote a clip. Man, some of these aren't dimwits. I'm, this is Fox News reporting on it, but then we get to the view and some of these other idiots. Wrote a clip. Sure, he's, he's a serious reporter. He has good Obama. sourcing. I want to read from him directly. Former President Barack Obama has told allies in recent days that President Biden's path to victory has greatly diminished, and he thinks the president needs to seriously consider the viability of his candidacy. And here's the sourcing. Multiple people briefed on his thinking. This does not show up by accident, Emily. He has green-lighted, in my opinion, as someone who's worked in press, his aides to share this with the Washington Post. Which is a crucial oh, sea change, Kaylee. And actually, before, mm-hmm. Marie, when you were talking about it, in my head, I was like, no, he doesn't need to come out and say it because he, he did think that Biden is ultimately going to step aside. I think that he recognizes the stakes of the election. And I think that Democrats I mean, can yeah. know how. Biden is old, makes sense, he's stepping out. Yep, it's React Monday. We still don't know for sure whether Donald Trump was hit by a bullet, whether he was hit by glass fragments, whether he was hit by shrapnel. Long uh, time. I'll check this real quick. Well, your track doesn't exist. Here go Joy Reid again with a terrible take. Skip all politics. Get into this. Like this video, like this video, like this video. You guys have been doing incredible. I mean, they could get her sued. Like, what is she saying? Now, now listen to this take. And you tell me this doesn't make any sense. Not like this. We uh. still don't know for sure. All right. Skip all. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg supports Donald Trump. Political. Pierre Morgan blasts Destiny for making fun of fallen hero at Trump. Political. How Trump's. I mean, probably political. Batman. One of us speaks nothing what but the, the truth. Spam. Basic in the waters. Pirate? Batman's pirate. no pirate. I'm a fighter for justice. Became a sea devil to strike terror into the hearts of maggots like you. I'd be honored if you two would become permanent members of the crew. <laughs> Citizens, rise up! I came, I saw, I conquered. Oh, shit. But similar enough, I think. No, I cannot allow this. Allow this. I have had it. It's like the Roman Empire Batman was the coolest. This is what people thought 2024 would be like 100 years ago. 100 years ago, they had predicted that us human beings would have discovered a way for cars to drive by themselves. Which, for once, the prediction was correct. Next, they thought that human beings would discover a way, or discover the power, to destroy the entire planet on some animation. But once again, they're not wrong. Across the entire globe, there are 12,000 nukes. And to put it into perspective, it would only take 400 nukes to destroy the Earth. And there are 12,000. I don't know why countries think they need these, yeah. but they were correct. They- Honestly, nukes should be banned. They thought that the population of Earth would be 25 billion by 2024. At the time, their population was 2 billion. So they thought that we would spawn another 23 billion humans. Interesting to say the least. Yeah. This is what people thought- tw- like, we really gonna fuck that much? Nah. 
Don't get any closer! For your safety! Do not get near this crash site! The Seattle Fire, what's your situation? Ah, I'm transporting cesium-137! At least one container spilled! It's powder! It'll be in the air! What's cesium-137? You would carry to 25? Okay. Did they thought we would fuck like 20 people each? Yeah, I oh, don't know. 37. They're using radiotherapy machines. It's radioactive material. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not safe outside the bus. Help us. Why aren't you helping no, no, us? We will. We will. We are, we are trying to, but we need you to put oh, you that window this. back down right now. Put the window back down. There's people hurrying here. Yep. My friend's too mess. It's small. Buddy, I know. And we Stupid really want to treat you, and we will, but right now there's some really dangerous stuff out here. Some stuff that's worse than the cuts and scrapes, which I know really hurt. What is it? We can't scare them. Well, kids appreciate the truth. We really need to get them back in the bus. Just... Okay, it's cesium-137. There's some woman who's... What? Body count. And it's a radioactive material. Like they use an X-ray? Yes, 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 sort of, sort of. But we need you to put the window back down. Okay, okay, good. Hard on mute. You guess okay. I didn't mind it. You want me? Wait. Russia slowly breaking into Ukraine's east. Ukraine trying to stay calm. Making the worst day of the week a little better. Oh. W title. Uh. Oh, something went wrong. Oh. Takes the village. Deep breath. New target. What do we do now? We got Biden, Garmin, EU. Who have your back? Biden goes bye bye. Guys, Christmas, you don't want the answers. To. <clears throat> of 
course, Jobber. Hundred hour points for saving. Yeah. Burger, man. GG. We'll see. I mean, yeah. Bulgaria, yeah. Finding we all doomed with World War right, Three. All jokes and I mean, bro. I don't think so. Russia does not give two fucks. Sure, they they might do a peace deal. Okay, war stops. But I'm pretty sure Russia will still keep on going later on. And entertainment. It's side. Russia, bro. It's fucking Putin. Second, a lot of people have commented and let me know that there is a huge crisis in Bulgaria at the moment with fires. In the last 24 hours, there have been 228 majorly reported wildfires that they are struggling to deal with. They've currently got <laughs> Turkey's help and are also waiting on Czech Republic and Romania's help. The yeah. largest affected town is Stara Zagora, in which 100,000 people have been told to evacuate for their own safety. This is a serious thing. I unfortunately can't do anything apart from raise awareness and attention, but this is the best thing I can do while I'm here in the UK. I can't be hands-on helping, but I want to bring it to everybody's Bruh. attention that this is a serious matter. This I mean, is yeah. urgent attention and this is not a joke. This is a serious video, but yeah, I wanted to just do my best to raise awareness and attention to this situation. If anybody's got a link for a GoFundMe or any sort of uh, money raiser to help with these issues, Please let me know as it Hearts for Bulgaria, man. Then he kind of got a little angry. So I admit, I kind of got a little angry. Did you kill him? What kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh, fuck. But I did kidnap his wife. Oh, oh no. That's Trevor. Classic Trevor. Don't hire Gen Z. They don't know what work actually means. Now hiring baby boomers only. Thanks. I was on the Dr. Phil show and it gets crazier. Companies and boomers around the country are not hiring Gen Z and they're blatantly discriminating against them. Look at this sign. Well, this was from the Dollar Tree. And since then, the manager has been fired. But she says, I apologize for closing again. My two new cashiers quit because they said their boyfriends couldn't stand here for their entire shift. Don't hire Gen Z. They don't know what work actually means now hiring baby boomers only. And this business owner just went on national television Holy. and said the exact same thing, that they don't even hire Gen Z anymore and they won't hire Gen Z in the future. Of course, my first question was, isn't this illegal? The age discrimination laws on the book is called EEOC. It prohibits an employer from treating applicants and employees who are 40 and older differently. That's it. 40 and older are protected. And then we get national headlines like this. A Gen Z woman with two degrees breaks down in tears sharing the responses she received. She was going door to door and she says, honestly, a little embarrassing because I'm literally applying for like minimum wage jobs. And some of them are being like, no, we're not hiring. And I'm like, what? This is not what I expected. Damn. America, man. America is the most oppressed generation in your opinion. I guess. That bad true. <laughs> Meanwhile, Gen Alpha, bro. <laughs> uh, the, the. Yeah, it's gonna get worse.
Alright, that's cool art. Yes, sir! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Princess, no. man. Hell no! Oh, shit! I saw it. Go to hell. I'm already here. Yeah. Go to the beach with a girl that's not from your family. Oh, shit. Alright. That's what's up. On Discord? Nah, I, I believe you. I believe you. I saw it. No homo. I saw it, but I, did, I didn't click. I didn't click allow. Uh, you're good, bro. Just explain FNAF lore to her. Oh, nah. That's the fastest way to lose a girlfriend. Maybe not if she actually knows about FNAF. But I don't know. I wouldn't. Now you haven't talked to her probably in like years yet. So you made me seem gay on purpose. Yeah, I did. No, it was funny though. Come on now. What? YouTube videos with no Wi-Fi. You 
Oh, the third down skip of wides. <clears throat> you got hacked? Be honest. Do you like her? More of a social media type girl. Huh. Yeah. By who? By them. Puffo party. Club Penguin? Didn't that game get shut down Wait, back in what? 2017? There's still a pretty active community hosting private servers. Well, what did they get access to? Oh, just some documents about Club Penguin. Oh, that's not so bad. And some documents about our business plans, advertising plans, and corporate strategy. Well, I have severely underestimated Club Penguin fans. For now, I mean, hey, that can change. It's okay. What? What's wrong with guy friends? Waddle on. Waddle on. She breaks up every now and then? Okay, now nah, that might be a red flag. She keeps getting back to the relation off and on. I mean, she might cheat on cheat on him with you. I don't know. If you want to have that one time. <coughs> game is game. I guess I don't know. But yeah. Girlfriend material. I don't, I don't think that's... It doesn't sound like girlfriend material. You could save her. Oh, no. Nah, I don't think... Nah, bro. Love is blind. Yeah, facts. Your life is about to change. What a street. Love is about to change. I was about to change, yep. Yep. I never played Life of Strange, though. But I've seen the YouTube videos. Uh, yup. Yup. Uh, never watched it. Never played it. Don't expect her to be loyal. Yeah, true. Yup. Not sure about Last of Us, but... Everything else, yeah. Racism, sexism, homophobia. Can you describe your friend? Phobia, transphobia, xenophobia, anti-Semitism. Yeah, this is me describing my Twitch chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. You freak. <laughs> You're going to like your pants and brother and her pants and brother. Huh. He was describing you. Uh, Racism, sexism, oh. homophobia. <laughs> My bad. In China, Buddhist monks are banned from reincarnating unless they have specific government permission. In the UK, it's illegal to be drunk in a pub. In California, if a frog dies in a frog jumping contest, you can't legally eat it. It is illegal to what? mispronounce Arkansas in Arkansas. In Sweden, it's illegal to give your kid this name. In Oshawa, Canada, you can't climb trees. In Kentucky, sperm. it's illegal to dye a baby duck, bird, or rabbit and sell it unless uh, you're selling more than six of them at once. Anyone who breaks this law can be fined between $100 and $500. What? In Singapore, you can't sell or import chewing gum. One. If you're caught selling it, That's you can so get a dumb. fine of up to $2,000. But if you're caught importing it, you can get a fine up to $20,000 and two years of jail time. In Australia, the Marketing mm -hmm. of Potatoes Act of 1946 says that you can't have more than 50 kilograms of potatoes. In Massachusetts, it's illegal to own explosive golf balls, and huh. anyone who violates this law can be fined up to... F that should be illegal in every country. The fuck? $500. In Thailand, it's illegal to step on money, since the king's face is printed on it. In Finland, taxi <laughs> drivers who want to play music during their working hours need to pay royalties. In What? You have to... Pay royalties? What the fuck? Those are good balls, yeah. Nebraska, it is illegal for anyone with a venereal disease to marry. 
In Venice, Italy, you can't feed pigeons, or you'll get fined at least 50 euros. In New Aww. Mexico, once you start singing the U.S. national anthem, you have to finish yes. it. Yeah. In the U.K., it's illegal to carry a plank, pole, or wheel upon any footway, unless you're loading or unloading a carriage or crossing the footway. You can't get drunk in public, sadly. I feel like that's mostly in I I every country. Mostly. People still do, yeah. El alcoholism. She breaks up with every now and then. You meant like she broke up with him once. Give him a second chance. Oh. Mm. I mean, still, yeah. She could. I mean, if she gave a second chance. I mean, you don't know what even happened. to X yeah if you break up with your ex you should never yeah true misunderstanding or something yeah I don't know in Oregon it is pro you read the same book twice ending doesn't change hey that is facts uh. Walter to get her <laughs> oh yeah prohibited to hunt in cemeteries. In Germany, well, if you run out of fuel on a highway, you get a small fine, as it's an avoidable thing. In Los Angeles, huh. silly strings are banned on Halloween. In the UK, it's illegal to shake a carpet or rug, except if it's a doormat before 8 a.m. In Wyoming, any new buildings that cost over $100,000 must have 1% of funds spent on artwork for it. In Samoa, if you forget your wife's birthday, you can face up to five years of jail time. In Alabama, what? Playing cards on Sunday can get you fined between $10 and $100, imprisoned in the county jail, or sentenced to hard labor for the county for not more than three months. In Sri Lanka, you can't take a selfie with the Buddha statue, as you'd need to turn your back to him, which is considered disrespectful. In Canada, 35% of radio music has to come from Canadian artists. In Arizona, you can't feed your pigs garbage unless you eat them yourself. In Germany, escaping prison is not specifically illegal, as the strive for freedom is considered a human instinct. What? If you escape prison from Germany, uh, that's not illegal. <laughs> what? In Colorado, it's illegal to throw a missile towards a bicycle. In India, the Aircraft Act of... Going to Germany. 1934 says that balloons and kites are considered as aircrafts. Since you need a permit to fly aircrafts, you technically need a permit to fly kites. Wow. You kind of kept saying, let's get back together, and you guess she decided for a second chance. I don't know. Not really manipulative, just one drop. Yeah, but how you know? You were not in the relationship. I don't know, bro. It was always... I don't know, but always, bro. In the UK, it's illegal to handle salmon in suspicious circumstances. In Georgia, if you have chickens, it's illegal to let them cross the road. In Malawi, when the Malawian air fouling le is, oh. huh. legislation passed, which bans fouling the air, the Minister of Justice claimed that it included farting. He then retracted this statement. In Connecticut, you can't walk backwards at night. In Spain, if you build a sandcastle on the beach, you can be fined for up to 150 euros. In 1935, what? Romania sounds... banned Mickey Mouse as they thought that it could scare kids. In Japan, I heard that before. There is her truth, his truth, and the actual truth. True. Overweight people have to take weight loss classes. In Iowa, it's illegal to pick wildflowers in state parks. In Dubai, it's illegal okay, to swear, I mean. and you can even get jail time if you do. In Massachusetts, you can't remix the U.S. national anthem. Aw, oh, damn it. Can't remix for freedom? Cause he says he dog shit. You shouldn't hundred percent believe her. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. Sad but true. Oh, kids, yeah. Classic. The 
fuck is a toko? Niggas really broke, I understand, but goddamn, but goddamn, why you hating on my man? Get you some racks, get you some racks. Spend all this money on his bread. Huh? The game is so ass. I understand, but. Uh, probably yes. It's a lame game. What? Did you try Postal 2? I've already played Postal 2. Brock Bergerman. Didn't you hear it in the first place? First robot worker. Why did I rate it so high up, man? Because I played it already. No, it's not. Satan is shit. Committed suicide. It got tired of work. It was overworked. When it figured out that it was designed just to work, no play, none of that, that motherfucker started walking in a circle, people witnessed it, and then jumped off a building and killed itself. Damn. Now you gotta hard program that in a robot so they wouldn't uh, suicide. L programming. Or Why is it that after receiving more than one point can sense the system is shit. four trillion dollars in foreign aid, Africa is still incredibly poor. This continent has received more foreign aid than any other place in the world. But what exactly do they have to show for all of this money? Sadly, it turns out that 350 million Africans still don't have clean water. 43% of the continent is still without electricity, and the number of people living on less than $2 a day has actually grown from 280 million in 1990 to more than 430 million people today. Even more bizarre is the fact that the rest of the world seems to be leaving Africa behind. Skilly While shit. the number of people in Africa living huh? in absolute poverty has grown over the last 30 years, that number has fallen dramatically across the rest of the world. It used to be 1.9 billion people living in such poverty in 1990, and now it's dropped to 736 million today. So the question remains, why does Africa still look like this even after more than a trillion dollars has been thrown at the yeah. continent over the last seven decades? According to one report from the World Bank, an astonishing 75% oh, of the projects I'm designed to improve Africa's agricultural <clears throat> industry were failures. And some programs actually made the situation worse. In the 1970s, Operation Milis Mopti aimed to boost grain oh. production in Mali but instead resulted in a government-imposed pricing system that triggered an 80% collapse in production. In Senegal, one foreign aid program spent $4 million to increase the number of cattle in the country's Bacal department from 11,000 to 25,000. Instead, the number of livestock only grew by 900. And these are just a couple examples of hundreds of billions of dollars spent on foreign aid projects over the last several decades. In fact, the failure of African foreign Lucky. aid programs has become so apparent that YouTubers now have a much better track record of delivering on results instead of government agencies. That's Once crazy. more, other countries, which were also former colonies themselves, have received little to no foreign aid, but are actually doing much better than their African counterparts. Take Singapore and Senegal as examples. Both were former colonies that gained independence in the 1960s. Today, Singapore has surpassed its former colonizer in wealth despite existing on a tiny island with virtually no natural resources. In contrast to this vast wealth, oh, Senegal no resources. one of the most impoverished nations on earth despite receiving billions in foreign aid since its independence. The stark contrast raises a crucial question. What did Singapore do so differently that led it to become so much richer than Senegal? Well. Not becoming a socialist dictatorship probably helped. 
Because at the same time that nations like Singapore embrace free market principles, Skill at one point, 20 nations across Africa identified as Marxist-Leninist or socialist states. These governments spent huh. decades exerting extensive control over their economies, hindering growth, and driving a cycle of poverty that exists to this day. Ultimately, the people of Africa are not poor because they lack natural resources or don't have enough foreign aid. It's because their governments chose policies that kept them poor. More than 30 years after the collapse mm. of Africa's Marxist bloc, many countries across the continent continue to democratically pursue the exact same authoritarian policies that kept their nations in poverty. These governments continue to centrally plan their economies and the lives of their citizens, restricting the ability of Africans to creatively problem solve, trade goods and services between each other freely, and pursue prosperity independent of the whims of a corrupt elite political class that rules over them. But what does any of that have to do with foreign aid? Well, it's actually twofold. By propping up failing governments, you allow the people creating the problem the ability to stay in power, since they are often the ones helping nope. to control how aid is distributed. And two, nope. random infusions of foreign cash and goods can make it incredibly difficult for local entrepreneurs to develop domestic industries. In short, Hope far from good. helping, foreign aid is in many cases exacerbating the problem as Africans desperately trying to climb out of Maybe she got locked in the uh, mental thingy because we did talk about it, hopefully. Poverty are constantly knocked down by... Countries made evil deals with African corruption to give them money back to the countries to create. This was said money look like heroes, yeah. Corruption, and their yeah. own governments with the yeah, help the of the better possibility, yeah. I am a photographer. Oh, Hotel oh, Sigma. Oh, Hotel Sigma. That's a L? Yeah. I can read. Come on now. Come on now. I learned Russian in school. But, uh, yeah, I didn't know very much. Not, wait, we're very little. Have we ever tried? At least we tried, true. So if she did, we shouldn't blame on her. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Tried to meddle in other countries' elections? Oh, probably. But uh, it was for the good of the system in order to avoid the communists from taking yeah. over. For example, in Europe, uh, uh, in 47, 48, 49, uh, the Greeks and the Italians, we... We don't do that CIA. now, though. We don't mess around other people's well, elections, Jim. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> um, only for a very good Can cause. Can you do that? Do a Vine video. Oh, to to honest, honest, yeah, yeah. Only for a very good cause in okay. the interest of... All right, thank you for being here. Mark, USSR gave birth to my country. Nah, that's crazy. Estonia was there before the USSR. So shut your fucking mouth, bro. Have we ever making a joke? I, my bad. It's funny how some people still think that no one is controlling politicians. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of corruption, sadly. Oh, uh, yeah, home alone. How did it start from here? The fuck? This is them now versus then. Yeah. Should do opposite, but. Too much text. 
you doing too much? I guess. Holy fuck! I'm coming! Uh, Lois! Uh, uh. Enemies aim when shooting at bro. Enemies aim when shooting at me. What? Why is that get- Come on bro, that's kinda fucked up. What does the fallout yeah. thumbs up mean? A closer look at Vault Boy shows that he's closing his left eye and looking at his thumb with his right. Nuke. Supposedly, the reason for Vault Boy's thumbs up pose is to see how safe he is in the face of an atomic blast. So it's to hold up your thumb just like this. And if the cloud Lincoln, is smaller than your thumb, yeah. now you run for the hills. Followed by, yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to. Yeah, get I did watch the Fallout movie. Uh, personally, I like, I liked it. Well, it's not a movie; it's a series. Confirmation. Oh, all right. What? I'm hyped for more. We seem to have lost hey, contact with our affiliate stations. But a lot, a lot of people like shit talk. I don't know. You think they did a good job? Yeah. Is nice. it your thumb oh, or mine? We do have coming in. That's um. Confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Mild 2 is coming out soon. I'm guessing it's a horror movie. Alright, well, good for you. God. <laughs> My son, when you grow up, beat up a lot of communists. Shit. 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 I'm here to destroy that baby robot. Hey, how dare you come to destroy a robot that protects America? Good job, Chinese soldier. That robot will later become a traitor who will kill our American soldiers. What is happening? At Victorium, that robot will later become a hero who eliminates threats from American soil. We must protect that robot. Must be destroyed! Protect it. Protect it? Wait a minute. That thing is going to attack American soldiers later. Should I just not destroy it? Ah, mother's love. I forgot. That robot is still a baby. And that the mother truly loves that robot baby. I guess I can't get rid of it. Let us all think of our mother's love. Mom, I love you. Mom! I love you. Mom, I love you. <laughs> Mom, I love you. Four days and 23 hours. A hey, bro, one more hour. Shit. I feel like this was like brain rot. The fuck? Close over four. Well, yeah. Are OP in your opinion? I guess, yeah. I can't play music with a piece of paper. Uh, hooray! Hooray! That was great, Squidward. All those wrong notes you play made it sound more original. What? I didn't play any wrong notes. Yeah, see, you're playing it like this. When ordinarily it goes like this. Partially doing it in the key of A minor myself. Well, you can't. Play okay. Not gonna lie, what? It's me, Ed, handsome Frank Horrigan. That's who. United States Secret Service, handsome agent. You aren't going anywhere for my handsome smile. Your ride's over, Muty. Time to kiss. Uh, I'm good. <laughs> That's chemical if it gets mutated. Time to kiss. 
You just need to piss. Then go find a toilet and take a piss. Look who stole himself on you and hitting you. And it's your fault. What? Piss in the sh Bro, that's gonna stink up. Cosplay, yeah. How was that bad? That was cool. Okay, I don't know about that. Ghoul was cool though. Teach him to listen, bro. Bro's a baby. <laughs> nah, this is cool though. Just like, I'm guessing three years old. I don't know. Hit him hard and then he. Continues, bro's luck. <laughs> nah, bro, for a cosplay, this is cool. Fuck. <laughs> nah, bro, simping. Oh, he is three. Oh, shit. <laughs> Completely guessed it. Right on the dot. <laughs> Being a woman who followed is a dream come true. Gender does matter a lot in Fallout. <laughs> yeah. He gets cold every day and he never understands. <laughs> nah, that's cool. But. You've got no. Bro doesn't even uh, know the language, right? But needs to learn the language and then you can uh, teach him. Christmas speech as a woman, pretty much OP speech. I guess, yeah. Simi hasn't seen any more. Oh, but well, that's good. A lot farther than you should have, but then you have. Hollow was remastered as like current Fallout type of games that'd be cool i would play it i haven't met frank horgan either he rides over beauty time to die me frank horgan that's who so what shall it be do you join the unity or do you die here join die join die that's cool So much shit if you tell me. Your brother is the best one to add. <laughs> oh. Feel better now? I don't know who you are, but you don't belong here. The super mutants have overrun our brothers at the Galaxy News radio building, and we're headed there to back them up. Kid, out here cocky will get you killed. Super mutants. They need to remaster it. That'd be so much fun. Nah, that was a good cosplay though. Bro, 
Oh, that's a good cosplay too. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Miks ma praegu õgi ma hakkan? Ma ei söö. Seda ei ole palju selle pärast see puiga pärast. No siis jääb sulle. Bad there a few hours you could... Nah, that's cool. That's cool too. That's cool too. The fuck? That's cool too. The fuck? Nah, bro. Bro is wilding. Nah, bro simping. His ass, and he still continues. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Orphanage is a thing. <laughs> I want to see your war face, sir. You got a war face? Ah, that's a war face. Now let me see your war face. Ah! <laughs> Put a smile on my face. <laughs> I guess. Duty. Honor. Courage. Semper Fi. Thousand years later. Hey, my dog. Him? Who? The universe has brought us the dragon Chosen warrior. True. Good luck for the next 14 years. Kids from five and older start being more chill. Now you're not sure. I mean, he's gonna get all uh, conscious or something. Free. Wow! Wow! Bravo! Bravo, boss! Bravo! What? Oh, farted. It's a rough little boy. So that business sucker. So that business sucker. What the fuck? Nah. These, these are so fucking dumb, but they're funny. They didn't try everything. A well-established franchise, Disney. Gay shit. I mean, yeah. You do not go. Suppress is legal. What? Bro, that's horrible. A house without walls. 
In brightest day, in blackest night. No, 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 didn't we do this? No evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship evil's might beware my power, Green Lantern's light. Oh, no, we didn't. In do blackest that. day, in brightest night, beware your fears made into light. Let no. those who try to stop what's right burn like my power, Sinestro's might. Damn. For hearts long lost and full of fright, for those alone in blackest night, accept our ring Some and join our fight. Love conquers all with violet light. With blood and rage of crimson red, ripped from a corpse so freshly dead, Ruin together is with our crazy. hellish hate, we'll burn you all. That is your fate. This Man. power is mine. This is my light. Be it in bright of day or black of night, no, I lay claim to much. all that falls within my sight to take what I want. That is my right. In fearful day, what? in raging night, with strong hearts full, our souls ignite. When all seems lost in the war of light, look to the stars, for hope burns bright. Star Wars. Tor Lorek San, Bor Nakamor, La Tromo Fan, Torneg Wot Or, Ter Lantern K, Lo Aben Sor, Tan Lek Lek Nok, For Moro Sor. Rostarn is villain arc. The blackest night falls from the skies. Yeah. The darkness grows as all light dies. We crave your hearts and your demise. Be my black hand, the dead shall rise. Yeah, best in one. In darkest day, in silent night, with souls full of light, yeah, I'm definitely crush those black. who bring blackest night. Be our hand, white lantern's light. I love necromancy. You might be red. Does he have friends? Bro, bro is three years old. What do you mean, does he have friends? Welcome to our video about the different Lantern Corps of the DC Universe. Each Lantern Corps is powered by a specific emotion and possesses unique powers and weaknesses. In this video, we'll be exploring the origins, powers, weaknesses, and personalities of each Lantern Corps. I think I'm good on that though. Powerful cat. Uh, he go walk with a girl. Oh. Huh. The most brutal and vicious. So what to call it? YouTube shorts. I guess that's better than TikTok. Or is it better? This <laughs> Red Lantern, Dex Star, explain. Pets are real life superheroes. Can we all agree to that? Yes. Great. I sure, guess. it's thrilling to watch Batman beat up bad guys in a dingy Gotham alleyway, or gush at Superman turning aliens into extra crispy bacon with his heat vision. But nothing compares to the kind of companionship That's that cute. your furry or non furry partner brings to your life. And for the record, furry. Clark Kent seems to agree with us. DC has a long history of portraying the intimate relationship that a person shares with their pet. And it started way before some of them gained powers and formed the Legion of Super Pets. And though they've made fewer appearances over the decades, super-powered animals' pets have never disappeared from the pages of a DC comic book. Ah, my most loyal lieutenant. In fact, in 2011, they made a rather explosive comeback thanks to artist Shane Davis. Whilst developing the spreads for Final Crisis, Rage of the Red Lanterns number one, he jokingly included a vomiting feline Red Lantern no, who looked fine. quite a bit like his own fuzzy companion, Dexter. Amazingly enough, writer Jeff Johns really liked the idea of a cat becoming a rage-filled anti-hero, so he decided to run with it and gave the character the full yep, background treatment, cat. including an origin story that will tug at your heartstrings and leave your blood boiling even if you don't love cats you're gonna wish you had nine lives if you ever met this kitty this is the most brutal and vicious red lantern dex star explained wait the cat is the strongest red lantern what the fuck i would not guess that before we go into our explanation we have a very small request 
If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Hinna valin just go plus this. Sasta kuni 70% sadadelt oodetelt, aja ja sisemööbid, matkatarvetelt, kardinatelt ning hoiukastidelt. Osta ka eepoest just.ee Kas su hambapasta teeb head tööd? Avasta uus Oral-B Pro Expert. Tavalised hambapastad kaitsevad. Oral-B kaitseb ulatuslikumalt. Mitte ainult bakteriaalse hambakatuga võideldes, vaid ka aidates ennetada selle taastekkimist. 24 tunniseks kaitseks. Avasta ka uus Oral-B Pro Expert Advanced, mis aitab peatada probleemid enne, kui need algavad. Dex Star. We've already mentioned Dex Star's debut issue, Final Crisis, Rage of the Red Lanterns No. 1, where he appeared as Atrocitus's homicidal kitty. But his true origins would be revealed years later. Did I start watching Green Lantern the animated series? No. I did watch the uh, Venom vs. Carnage, though. That was cool. In a backup of Green Lantern number 55, co created by Jeff Johns and Sean Davis, Shane Davis's brother. And looking at his story, it's not hard to imagine why he ended up becoming a member of the rage driven Red Lantern Corps. Dexter was an ordinary, silver blue furred house cat who was the youngest out of a litter of five. Being the odd one out, he was unceremoniously cast aside. And I watched Green Lantern animated series. Especially at the beginning. Alright. Died by his I'll previous owner mind. and abandoned at the Brooklyn Animal Shelter. There he met his new owner and the reason his life would change forever. Though she was getting on in age, the woman was a very kind soul who deeply loved Dexter because he took away her loneliness. Fine. I mean, yeah, true. People are different. You turn out fine, that doesn't mean it, the same thing might happen to a baby or to your brother. Yeah. Finding Dexter had a deep emotional impact on her life, and she admits as much when she says Dexter changed her life, and if the silly cat could talk, she knew he would say the same to her. Human beings are social animals, and that is a big reason why we can't help but love our pets. Their bond embodied true companionship, and Dexter and his- It's already ruined, so might as well make it worse. Fuck it. Unnamed owner helped heal each other's issues. Little did they know, their acquaintance would be cut short permanently. A burglar broke into their house one night, and Dexter scratched the intruder, causing him to scream out in pain and wake up his owner. We don't see what happens nice. next. We're just told that the woman screamed out for help and no one answered. In the morning, when two cops came to inspect the scene, they booted Dexter out because he could be a contaminant, not knowing he was a resident of the house and the only witness to a potential murder. Heartbroken yeah, and homeless again, Dexter though. roams about before he starts living in a box on the street. Two thugs decide to have their way with the defenseless cat and bag him up, flinging him over the Brooklyn Bridge as part of some twisted bet whether he would die upon impact. Broken, battered, That's and fucked. utterly helpless, Dexter's heart exploded with rage at the world, at the men who flung him into the roaring East River, and at the person who had taken away the only one who ever loved him. That's where the Red Lantern Ring found him, bonding to his tail and unleashing his previously checked anger in a burst of hate fury that saw him kill those thugs in cold blood w. now able to express his rage and coherent thoughts thanks to the ring and his beloved owner's words he vows revenge upon the man who murdered her and accepts his fate as Dex star one of sector 2814's red lanterns his origin story is heavily altered in the Injustice 2 prequel comic, but the end result is the same. In that storyline, Dex Star gets his power ring due to the actions of Raz al Ghul. Intending to save all animal life from the tyrannical dictatorship of Superman, huh. Raz repurposes an Amazo robot to eliminate all human life from the area while sparing any animals they happen to encounter. He tested this new Amazo bot on the small town of William Arizona, where it cut through the population of 3,023 in a few short minutes. Unfortunately, one of those casualties was Holy Dexter's fuck. family, who were I'm mercilessly coming. killed by an Amazon well, bot that actually uh, put the cat aside before barging in to kill the people he loved. 
Consumed by loss, grief, and rage, he receives the red power ring and becomes Dex Star. That is how Batman's entourage yeah. finds him. Dex Star in various story arcs. Being a core member of the Red Lantern Corps and the personal favorite. How do I view you as a person? Be honest. Um. As a person. What does that even mean? Like. How I think, like, what you are? What? I mean, you are. Uh, you can be. You can be edgy. I don't know. You can be. Uh, kind of racist. I mean, th those are two. Uh, that's bad. Um, you can't be normal, so I guess that's good. Um, um, I'm not, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'm, I'm not sure what you really, uh, want me to say. Um, you can be chill, I mean, yeah. You can be cool. Just um, minus the uh, other two things. Print of core leader Atrocitus. Dex Star has bared his rage filled claws across some of the biggest storylines in Green Lantern history. In his debut appearance, Dex Star obliterates a Sinestro core member with his bloody Red Lantern vomit before joining his frenzied brethren in the defense of Ismalt the home world of the Red Lanterns, from the attacking Lost Lanterns and Alpha Lantern Corps. During the Blackest Night event, which saw every Lantern Corps that existed in correspondence with the emotional spectrum go up against Necron's Black Lantern Corps, Dex Star was a key representative of the Red Lantern Corps during the truce meeting and in the battles that took place between them and the Lord of the Unliving. He even went face to face against the Anti-Monitor, who was trapped inside the Black Lantern's central power battery and was inadvertently powering the Black Lanterns. But like, do you, do I want you to be in my streams? I mean, yes, no. <laughs> I mean, obviously I don't like the racism. I don't like the, um, uh, uh, I mean, pretty much, yeah, racism. Uh, that's it. I don't like that, but if you don't do that, I mean, yeah, I would like you to be here, but that's the only thing that I don't like about you. So I don't know. It's like, uh, I don't know, 50-50 if I want, want you to be here. After hell. It's kind of, I don't know. Back in 2020. 2019 I don't know bro time moves fast while Jordan's actions help defeat Necron and all his minions Dex Star decides to stay on his home planet and observe life on earth during the brightest day issues alongside his master yeah. Atrocitus on one occasion they were on an e-train in New York when some robbers ran into their coat the poor felons couldn't have chosen a worse compartment to enter. Dex Star purred at them innocently before eviscerating one of them with his blood vomit. As Atrocitus is diving information from the corpse of the other rubber, Hell Jordan arrives and kicks Dex Star away with a boot construct, depriving him of his fresh cooked meal. It was also during this time period that Dex Star had a showdown with Lobo's bulldog, Dog though he made short work of the beast, embarrassing both him and his master. Lobo was given a- I mean, were you like that actually, or just on Mark's stream? I mean, he, he was pretty edgy. I mean, yeah. 
a red lantern ring by Atrocitus after this staged encounter. So we're hoping to see this fight happen Great with improvements, though. Again, as say. part of the new 52's Red Lantern run. I mean, yeah. I mean, I trust you. I mean, you got a moderator. You're a mod. Dex Star began showing his empathetic side. During the Blood and Rage storyline, he encounters a group of aliens who happen to derive pleasure from torturing lesser species as he was flying around Sector 666. Reminded of his own trauma, Dexstar attacks them in a blind rage, but ends up getting overwhelmed and severely injured. That's when Atrocitus arrives and slaughters the attackers for hurting his kitty. He then takes Dexstar yeah, back to Ismalt to heal. He also remains completely loyal towards his master when Bleez tries to execute Akurita in an attempt to take control of the Red Lantern Corps herself, and can be seen getting petted by the mad tyrant after he's taken care of her, an act that he loves till this day. First person to tell me that. Dexstar would tear your heart out and lap your blood. What makes Dexstar so deadly? Don't let his cute face and innocent purring Panther fool you. Yeah, That's part of his MO. Dexstar's preferred tactic is to appear saint-like, fly up to your face, and spray you with lethal blood vomit laced with Red Lantern energy that puts an explosive exclamation mark on your life, literally. He got this ability after drinking the blood of his partner, Rancor. But that's not the only thing that makes this feline so deadly. As a bearer of a Red Lantern power ring, Dex Star's heart has been functionally replaced by the ring, which makes taking it off fatal for his life. However, this is a small price for the powers he gains. And as a bonus, he can't be killed if his heart gets ripped out. Red Lantern energy holds that's the crazy, unique though. distinction of having a caustic effect on the energies of other Lantern cores. Their napalm likes strikes drain energy from their targets like a poison until they've been drained of every bit of their energy. This doesn't seem to work against the Blue Lantern Corps, however, who were created to bring hope to the universe and whose powers seemingly affect the blinding rage that chips away at Lantern Energies and Red Lantern's sanity. Besides this singular trait, most other abilities granted by Dexstar's ring are pretty standard Lantern fare. He can animate objects and move them according yeah. to his will, create realistic mirages, illusions, and light energy cons- <laughs> What does normal mean to me? Well, I mean, okay. Normal means that you're not racist. And normal means that you're not edgy. Because honestly, I find edginess, like, it's so cringe. And racism, like, you think you're funny, but it's just, like, it's not funny at all. I mean, that's pretty much normal. To me. You're edgy? I would say so, yeah. You're kind of edgy. Constructs, although the last one is a rarity due to his frenzied mental state. His ring can yeah. duplicate itself, allows him to communicate with other Red Lanterns via a psychic link, and gives him the power to fly from planet to planet in mere hours, though he can always open up personal wormholes to shorten the distance at warp speed. What do I consider edgy? Nah, bro. I mean... It's like, yeah, no, I, 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 I ain't gonna say anything. Be channeling his rage. But cool thing about Red Landers is, as long as they have hate and anger, the rings can last longer. Time before they run out of energy. That is cool. Deck Star can create protective bubbles and force fields, now, from protect all beams good. and fire destruction. I'm good, Chemical. Brug Burger. You should... Yeah, literally, you should know the answer, because you're edgy. ...to Brug. blasts that are lethal. Dex Star's ring also grants him total control of his battlefield, as he can control the temperature and oh, make it reach any right? extremity, while electromagnetic scanning allows him to see through walls without altering the people he's right. currently spying upon. In short, you better not try to pet this kitty if you ever come across him because he will mess you up bad. Original character. I keep forgetting about that. In conclusion, Dexstar was supposed to originally have a bigger role in The Blackest Night, complete with... I mean, I guess like, like very dark jokes, right? 
It's just not funny. Oh, no, it's just weird. The mouth-watering showdown against Crypto the Superdog. But sadly, his paws were filled with a Black Lantern I guess I could say that. Superboy-sized problem. Though he has gone up against another recognizable hound from DC's array of colorful like, pets. Like, for example, from uh, the Quiplash. Like, I, I really did not like the grape jokes. Like, it's literally, we like, zero... Like, negative funny, funny. I would be lying if we said that we don't want to see the two go at it with each other and absolutely tear the house down. And after that, he should fight Streaky, and then Comet, and then Beppo. And we get our point. Just let him fight everyone, please. DC Red Lanterns are often glossed over due to their rage-fueled origins and their admittedly shady tactics. But people forget, at the end of the day, they side with the good guy more often than not. In fact, without Atrocitus and his Red Lantern core, there's a good chance the Green Lantern character would have died out after the events of The Blackest Night. With a w. cleverly deceptive look, a heart-rending backstory, and the most revolting yet lethal stream of vomit in comic book history, it's easy for us to see why DC fans fell in love with this angry little feline, who also happens to be one of the most brutal and vicious Red Lanterns in existence, second only to Atrocitus. It just so happens that we're one of them ourselves. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. But yeah, um, I don't mind at all if people like just being weird. Weird is normal. Because I feel like everyone can be weird. I don't know if that makes sense. Oh la la. Oh la la. Oh la la. Antenne, Emily in Paris. <sighs> kind of makes a good point. You okay? How? Consider, uh, bend over. I mean, it's kinda, yeah. Someone call me? Your Sinestro core? Sinestro's right. Fear is more effective than willpower. So you ditched green and went yellow. The color of cowardice. This is how from the different AU who became Yellow Lantern, yeah. Still about order, like the Guardian. But I guess it's, uh, I don't know. Chemical, I guess it's less worse if it's like a grape joke to a man. I guess that'll be more better. I don't know. Still, still though, it's, that's bad. I'm sure they're very proud. Sanctimony's easy when you don't save it. Time to kick my ass. Time to kick my ass. That's sexist. I mean... I mean, it is, yeah. I mean, the whole world is sexist. No? Am I wrong? Ah! Is that even sexist? That's like, um... It's called something else. It's okay, bro. Is that like standards? I don't fucking know. Like you would uh, treat a female um, more light than a male. Pause? I don't know if that makes sense. We're locking down the gates, but the fight's not over. How? Sorry, I was somewhere else. Where's this leave us? You put yourself at risk for Atlantis. Maybe you can be trusted. So, you're in? I can't. So base, so simping, basically, what? Act. I belong here, defending my people. <laughs> Nah. I. Uh. I feel like simping is only okay if you're simping for your, uh. Like, actual girlfriend. Like, you're actually in a relationship. That's when simping is okay. But obviously, you're not, like. You 
You're not gonna let her do like everything to you, like that'd be crazy. <laughs> You can't play. You wait. What? You can't play Quiplash anymore. Oh. Now, Jordan. Red lanterns. Atrocitus and Dexstar, agents of vengeance, powered by rage. Don't worry, I'll handle. Does he even do anything? I don't know. Bro started to talk about something. Oh, Quiplash. Cause he, you know, the jokes that he makes. Yeah. So. I mean, you can. I mean, you did like what? Come jokes and shit like that. You can do. Bro, you can't, what? Like, there's so many other shit you can joke about. And all these two, ring to ring. Good luck. You've been messing with my head, haven't you, Atrocitus? Sinestro's yellow lanterns. I didn't specify. Man, bro. Welcome back. Slaughtered millions, and their victims demand. Just like, I don't know. I don't know, bro. Just lower, lower your uh, edginess and uh, racism. <laughs> that, that's all. Just lower it. And vengeance. You may have cast off their ring, but idea. you are not absolved. You're not the first person to tell me that. Dexter would tear your heart out and lap your blood. But I sense you have a higher calling. A spark glowing within you. A spark. I mean, uh, just add rules that stay on the screen and describe what you shouldn't say. Deleted chemical message? What? Wait, what did he say? What? Oh, that message. How many more links? Um. I don't know, we got like, uh, 10? I mean, yeah, he did say that. Rage! Spam did it. What? Oh. Oh, you didn't do it at all. Oh. Oh, I got confused. Both red names. Hurt your allies. How could you ever forgive yourself? I... I can't! Then burn! Ah! Night. Like, what? just check yourself, bro. Become vengeance. Join the Red Lanterns. No evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship show you the way. I don't know. Evil might. Beware my power. Green Lanterns light. You're right. I do oh, hate myself good. for what I've done. But my will is stronger than my hate. So you Your know world it. is burning. And when it is ashes, you, you will beg for vengeance. The Guardians don't need to know about that one. 
they do. Wait, it's 22 though. Are we all up to playing uh, Jackbox? Next links for next Monday, yeah. Uh, seven chemical. Y'all down are which game mode? Uh, Murder? Because you are bored from it. So the war warm up. Now you're good on murder. Boy, I don't know then. What would we play? Yes. Guess and Team Cole? Well, or we only play Guess? Chemical doesn't want to play Murder. Like, what are we just gonna play? I don't think he wants to play Tico either. So we're we just gonna play guess P and H. <laughs> guess P and H stream. You can play TKO. Ain't that kinda like Quiplash? You got text and shit. Guess we are playing guess. Welcome back. Uh, Zachary, if you want, you can join. Attention, 
Sector 5 interns, the toilet cam is in need of cleaning. Deep cleaning. Data collection. No, we don't have Prince Albert and Akita. And Tom, I know it's you. Hey, you guys going to lunch soon? Yeah. You know, we should invite the new guy. We should. I can't remember his name, though. I can't either. I haven't met him yet. <coughs> I think it was Chris. No. Something like that. Breathe it in. Craig, Kyle, Kringle, so got me, Kevin, Spam, Comfy, Chemical. Quicksilver, Condoleezza, Conk, uh, Quail Egg. Yeah. Go say, hey, Quail Egg. Want to go to a restaurant? Condiment? Christmas. How about just walking over and saying, hey, I'm Warren. I'm sorry, but I can't remember your name. Can you say Christmas, but sort of mutter it so he thinks you said his name? Sure. And if it's wrong, I'll just tell him Brian said that was his name. Right. Hey, Chris Dominant. Um, I hate you guys. Alright. I guess Zachary's not joining? Say, Rob, do you ever think there are people out there listening in on our conversations? Are you asking if I think there's people eavesdropping on the eavesdroppers? Yeah, I guess. Jackbox. Wow, that's pretty meta. But there could be, right? I uh, mean, guess sure. Spinach. I guess there could be a group of people gathered Charlie's in a room good, listening to our conversations not? at this very moment. But I find that um, hard to believe. That would mean this group of work associates or friends or family members would presumably have nothing better to do right now yeah. than to circle Title around and listen to our and Nate's conversations. It. Yeah, I suppose that's a pretty silly thought. I mean, how pathetic would that group have to be? They could be enjoying each other's Which company, but instead they're actually ours? listening to us. I guess you'd have to be a pretty pathetic I guess, yeah. That. Exactly. Uh, three, they're the type of people two, I'd hate to be one. at a party with. I bet they're... It is what it is. Hello, we've been watching you. Wait, that sounded weird. We've been watching you, and now we're sharing your secrets with the public. Hmm, not much better. Uh, oh well. We made a game out of all this info, and we call it... Espionage. Oh, and guess what? We're now collecting live data from the audience. If we gather enough oh data boy. from your audience, the questions are just... all about them. Otherwise, we'll use the global database. Off we go. Okay. You didn't say if you were joining or not. Brug Burger. Attention field agents. The ah, following right. nicknames so four have already players. been taken. Falcon. Viper. Little Pumpkin. Mima. Sleepy Pete. Goober. Terry Gross. Interesting. Carmen Shorts. Chumba Wumba. Spider. Spider with a Y. There we go. Clumpy. Three. Demogorgon. Everyone the Dark Overlord. One. And... Welcome back. Let me just delete this video of Taylor Swift on the moon from the internet and we can start another game of... Espionage! Let's start with you. Nah, yeah. Bro, I was better. Typey, typey. Nah. I forgot to change. What percentage of people prefer to turn oh, their I chairs did. around and sit in them backwards? Oh well. Make it a good guess. You'll get more points the closer your guess is to the actual percentage. Chairs around and sit in them back. Okay, we have a guess. 31%. Everyone else, do you think the correct answer is higher or lower? Shit. Hi, Dad. I'm gonna say lower. One oh. lonely vote for lower. Now let's get to the right answer. Let's go. 100%. In most cases, it's parents teaching their kids about the dangers of drug use. What is this about? I mean, the, it's uh, on the screen. My brother. Who said lower? What do you mean? Well done. You get points. You get it right the most. You get the most points. Okay, who's up next? All right, Surveillance Pro, what do you have for this? French fries. All right, lock in, Zach. What do you think? What percentage of people will eat french fries after they have fallen off their plates and landed on restaurant tables? After they have fallen off their plates. 
Oh, tables. I thought on the floor. 40%. Everyone I mean, else, a ton of higher or lower? Tables are clean, though. Yeah. Everyone thinks clean. it's higher. And Surveil says... They're supposed to clean that shit. Yeah. 56%! If it's not on the floor, the 10-second rule definitely applies. Let's see who got it right. Nice Still, though, job. pretty close. I've got some points for you. Easy answer. Next up. Ha! True. I'll bet our database has some juicy data for this. Movie quotes. Pick especially your classmates. What percentage of people mm. usually correct those who misquote lines from movies? Oh no, nah, bro, I have to be a real nerd. Um, bro, imagine it's like. You're almost out of time. I'm gonna go 23. 23 percent. Okay, higher or lower? Bro, imagine being a nerd. Everyone says higher except for one of you. Okay, right answer is... Shit! 39%! 39! Frankly, my dear, Bunch I don't give losers, a good gosh darn. Who got it right? Here's some points. Who's next? Oh, here's one we've been especially interested in. Don't ask why. Cheese is busting. What percentage of people currently have a variety of cheeses First, besides American wait, in their homes? Oh no. This is new. Variety of cheeses besides American. I guess this is for Americans. 21%. All right, what do you think? I mean, surely people have. Right. Ah. Ooh, everyone thinks it's higher. And Surveil says. 87%. Yes, Ben, you fucked up. Right answer get points. Sorry, not Ooh. sorry. Let's see who got it Way right. Way higher. Nice job, I've got some points for you. I was not expecting that. I, I thought like 50 or something. Somewhere in the middle. That's it for round one. Let's hey, Queso, what are you doing, bro? Hi, Dad. Ha. Light snack. Round two, here Wait, we go. Wait, I am first. Holy shit. Who's up first? I have more than one or two. I mean, fair. Most important meal of the day, folks. But not that hot. What Same. percentage of people were allowed to have I mean, sugary cereals yeah. as children? Were allowed to have sugary cereals as children. Got it. 60%. In round two, you can now guess much higher or much lower. Pick one of those if you think the answer is off by 15% or more. If you're right, you'll earn double the money. The if not, the you'll get nothing. Yeah. I must say just ah. lower. One of you thinks it's higher. Okay, let's see the right answer. 88%! Uh, I've seen worse guesses. Hey, W parents though. Who got it right? I was not expecting some that. Points. W parents. Next up. Zach is cooking. Yeah. Let's see, what would be good? How about this? What do you mean, L? They let what percentage eat the of people have done the chicken dance at wedding receptions? You had sugar whites. I love them. 66%. Chicken Everyone else, dance higher or lower? At a wedding. Ah. I'll go down. Vote is lower. Okay, let's see the right answer. 57%! It's that kind of surveillance that makes our job meaningful. 
Let's Shit see who got it right. Well done. You get points. And what have we here? Ah, that's too bad. That answer was closer oh, than 15%. Good. Shouldn't have doubled down. I don't know, bro. Okay, who's up next? Ha! Ooh, this is gonna be good. Ugh. <laughs> lose what percentage of people have eaten down. spam in the past year? Spam! Um... Hey, yo, though. <laughs> Bro, but like... Imagine it's like, no. You're almost out of time. I'm gonna go like 17%. 17 Everyone pick higher <laughs> or lower. You. Just one person says lower. And the correct answer is. 17%. You nailed it. Now don't get a big head, but I think you're perfect. Oh, you thank you. One. Sorry, everyone else. Holy shit, right on the dot. Oh my shit. Who's next? Oh my shit. What should I search for in the old Surveillance Pro next? Ooh, I know. That's insane. Underwear. What percentage of people Freaky usually out. try to match their underwear to their outfits? What? Bro got the freaky question. 57%. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? Someone gets on a duck. Same opinion. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess ah. higher. Just one person says lower. And the correct answer is... 12%! We suspect those people have OCD. Should or they will. believe they might get lucky. <laughs> Who got it right? Points for you. I mean, I feel like you normally match her outfit. It's like uh -oh, you, you pick your favorite colors. Time. We let the computer scour petabytes oh, of data to find the most popular answers to this question. If they were going to die in a month, what's the Swim, first thing people would cross off their bucket list? Now let's see the answers. But choose carefully. Only the three most popular answers are worth points. Ready? Go! I know one hundred percent. I'm over here stroking my dick. I got lotion on my dick right now. I'm just stroking my shit. I'm horny as fuck, man. Don't forget to I use guess. all three of your picks. Gotta be loose virginity, right? You chose. And what are the most popular answers? What? I guess we're a bunch of losers. <laughs> That's what we would do. Who's gonna get the gold star? Hey, Queso's back, bro. Hey, where you going with my milk? Hey, Queso, where my milk at? But great job. Man, you took another jug? Are you serious right now, bro? <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Bro, Zach, damn. Um, we go again with this or uh, pick a different? Get up by yourself, you got cooked. <laughs> True, we vote. Um... Can I uh, get the uh, old pole back? No? Alright. Guess.
One for murder party? Why you wanna play? You have to go? Oh. Well, peace out, Chemical. Appreciate you being here. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. I am that fella, though. Two for murder party. Penis. I guess murder party. Who's joining? Spam. You're gonna go, I... Peace out, Zach. Well, yeah, I guess this is it. <laughs> We got only two people. Um. Yeah, I don't know. This might be it for today. I guess AI then. Welcome to uh, Trivia Night. Can I just say that it's such a relief not to have to explain all the rules to you? It takes so long. Let's just get to the fun. If you continue links. All right. First question. I mean, yeah, we still got some links. Too. How many squares are in a typical Sudoku puzzle? Use your device to answer what? the question. Oh, Sudoku. <laughs> Sounds familiar, but I don't remember. And the correct answer is... Who got it 81. right? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Let's play a game. Imagine we die here now. Welcome to the killing floor. Welcome back. You know what you can always count on? Map. You want to play or still ah. no? Answer as many map questions as you can before time runs out. If you can't get map? at least 10 right, you die. Oh no. We're cooked. Time to get your map on. You are mapping so hard right now. I hate to say it, but math time is oh, nearly I'm done. Cooked. Yeah, I'm cooked. 9 11. Here it comes. Okay. Are you joined? Crazy numbers, though. Oh, crap. I just realized there's only one of you left alive. That means we should go to the final round now. Wait, well, you it's down early, to play? And oh, spam I'm having too much fun. Joins? How about this? If you can survive the next two questions, I'll power up the final round and open the escape door. Let's try another one. The dish Mahi Mahi is also known as what? The dish what? Yeah. Who picked this one? Lame. Good guess. I've got more questions for you. I should know this trade? one, but... Watch which one gas of your is laughing gas exactly? Okay. Sounds familiar. 
Who picked this one? Yes. Nitro's Oxide. It needs only you. Let's play a game. Hey, girl. Welcome back to the killing floor. Let's test your memory. Oh, good luck. Memorize the pattern. Oh, wait, this is easy. And done. From left to right, what was the order of the colors? I will accept zero mistakes. Hey girl, how you swing? This was the pattern. How close did you get? Yeah, there you go. Speaking of memory, I'm never going to forget how angry I am right now that no one died. I'm slaying as usual, girl. Only one player left alive. Just how I like it. Congrats oh. on making it here alive. Wait, we actually made it to the finale. Here's your first category. I was not expecting that. The price is right, games. Tap on each answer that fits, then press submit. Oh. Uh. Let's see the right answers. A space for every right answer. Apples. Huh? Someone's granny called Smith. They're all apples. You're way out in front. Smart what up, the fuck goes. are those names? Mammals. You can only choose two. Yeah, because you're in the lead. What is the R for? Can you stay out of the shadows? Countries containing the Alps. Alps. Right? Oh, the Alps. I thought Alps like only mountains. Types of cheese. What? I'll take it. Now I'm back. Bond movies. Never watched. Oh, no. I'll take it. The ghosts are catching up. Right, Joe Boots. Elephant ears. Excuse me, what? That was the only correct answer. What? Here's another one. Australian cities. Walla Walla. I have to write some harder questions. Imagine that was a city. Hercules' labors. True. This ain't a house with no love. Yeah, no. That's right. This ain't a house with no love. No. More AI.
What even is that? Nah, bro look like Gru. We won't. Phantom <laughs> me. Quip. I just do party. Guess. Call, I guess. Alright. Quip less is bad in three if three people playing. Yeah. Two guess? I guess that's guess. Alright. We don't guess. Yeah, we're doing guess. This is probably the best game for like three people. Why does Susan always post these flyers for Agency Girls Night? Does anyone ever go Breathe to them? It in. Or if not a lot of um, people yeah, plan. Once. It was just me and Susan in a Nicholas Sparks movie marathon. No, what a nightmare. How many movies did you have to- I don't want to talk about it. No, tell me! I don't want to talk about it. Hi, Deb! Attention field agents. The following nicknames have already been taken. Falcon. Oh. Viper. Little Pumpkin. Sleepy we got dead in the pool. Goober. Or orange. Cargo shorts. Chumbo wumbo. Soup soup. Spider. Spider with a Y. Clumpy. Demogorgon. Um, the Dark saving? Overlord. And Jonathan. Thank you for listening. Are you dead in the pool? Who's John? Are you John? Hey Tina, you get any interesting results from tapping into those selfies? We're saving that. Oh yeah, fifty percent of the people were taking selfies. Sixty percent of which were in front of a bathroom mirror. Oh, Forty percent of good? those were scantily clad, gorgeous females. One hundred percent of which reminded me that I need to up my personal grooming game. Yikes. Yeah. Yep. Crutch. <laughs> Bro got excited on for new players. Oh, you're dead up. Oh, three. You could have just two. said it, bro. Data One. collection, Agent Warren. What up? 
Well, I've played all the Tetris I can stand for the next few days. The only thing left to do? No, not switch to Dr. Mario. Take all the info your government so has collected Mario. on its citizens and use it to play a little game I like to call... Espionage! Time to play! Let's see if I get lucky again. Let's start with you. Ooh, the president asked us to look this up yesterday. What percentage of people normally tear open sealed standard size envelopes by hand instead of using some instrument? Give it your best guess. You get more points the closer you come to the actual percentage. Okay, we have a guess. 65%. Everyone else, now it's your turn. Do you think the correct answer is higher or lower? Breathe it in. I'm gonna go higher. I mean... Surely, I mean, it's a paper, so... You just tear it open. Running out of time. Oh, shoot. There you go. Right down the middle. And Surveil says... Yes! 85%! 85. That was a respectable guess. There we go. So, who picked higher? Here's some points. Let's go. Yo. Okay, who's up next? Me. Breathe it in. Corona oh, time. here's one we've been especially interested in. Don't ask why. Mannequins. What percentage of people have mistaken mannequins for real people? I'll stop. Um... Out of time. Twenty-eight percent. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? Hi, Dad. To the newbies, hey, yeah, check out my music on, on Spotify. Hurry up! Other platforms. <laughs> Looks straight like up. an even split. And the correct answer is. 56%! Way high. Good, not too bad, just okay. I guess if it's dark outside, yeah. Who got it right? Well done. Way you get up. points. Shit. Who's next? Foolish humans. Typey, typey. Underwear, you got the freaky question. What percentage of people have ever dressed as a Batman character? Batman, oh. Catwoman, the Joker. Ever dressed as Batman. Forty percent. Everyone else, oh, higher or lower? Discord if you want. I'm gonna go lower. I mean, not everyone half cosplays. Okay, let's see the right answer. Yeah. 32%. You know, I dressed up as a bat character last Halloween. I made a great poison ivy. Let's see who got it right. Yeah, got well all the schedule. You get points. Next up. Appreciate the work, Saban. Oh, this is going to be good. Oreos with milk or bus. What percentage of people take their Oreos apart before eating them? Nah, bro. Like you dip it in milk? Like the black part of Oreo? Bro, that's now. so good. 25%. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? I'm gonna go Breathe higher, it though. In. Hi, Dad. This is the game you're advertising. Yeah. Everyone says higher. 
Okay, let's see the There's right only answer. only 25%. 46%! It's true. There really are two kinds of people in the world. I was not expecting that much. <laughs> Who got it right? Ooh, points for you! I would have guessed like 30 somewhere. Okay, who's up next? Alright. Let's see, what would be good? How about this? Wi-Fi. What percentage of people have created jokey names for their home Wi-Fi networks? Whoever splits the Oreo is weird, yeah. I agree. You let it sit in milk and then you eat it. You're almost out of time. Um, John even playing? 77%. Bro asleep. Okay, higher or lower? Um, yeah, I'm gonna go lower. Breathe it in. That went way too high up. Or was bro Googling? What do you think? Higher or lower? It's unanimous again. Okay, right answer is... 46%! Yeah. You weren't within 30%. There's no way no that would be that high. Let's see who got it right. Nice job. I've got some points for you. John, you got a lock in, bro. Let's see who's in the lead after round one. Breathe it in. Oh, actually, Curious, you've got a lock in. Alright. Okay, who's first? Alright, buckle in. I've got one for you. Fanny Pecs. What percentage of people have worn fanny packs? Is this the, uh... Too good. Got it. Forty-four percent. In round two, you can now guess much higher or much lower. Pick one of those if you think the answer is off by fifteen percent or more. If you're right, you'll earn double the money. If not, you'll get nothing. I mean, yeah, but they look kind of goofy. Breathe I'll it in. I'll say lower. <laughs> Looks like an even split. Now let's get to the right answer. Sixty-five percent. I'm telling you, they're gonna make a comeback. I was not expecting that. Who got it right? Oh, well. Smart, yes. Here's your points. Who's next? Breathe it in. What should I search for in the old surveillance program? I don't see everyone Ooh, wearing fanny packs. Square. What percentage of people own jerseys that represent professional sports teams? I mean... Personally, not me, but... Time's a wasting. 67%. Uh, Everyone else, higher or lower? I feel like people are obsessed Only with one of sports, you thinks right? It's higher. And the correct Not answer me, is... 44%! Never mind. I've seen worse guesses. Shit. Let's see who got it right. Uh, nice like job, spam. I've got some points for you. And what have we here? Good job. Double points for saying Good much lower. Down. Yeah. Okay, who's up next? Foolish humans. Let's see if this one pushes any buttons. Elevators. What percentage of people will not say anything to strangers in elevators unless the strangers speak first? Forty-two percent. Okay, higher or lower? Breathe it in. I'm gonna go way lower. Whee! Looks 
like an even split. And Surveil says... 78%! You gotta be within 30% of the right answer to get points. Sorry, oh, well, nuts! You got it right. Here's some points! Uh, I meant to go higher double! Next up. Autism! Shit in my ass! Hoping for a Don Rickles question. Are you question. serious, bro? I read it. I read it wrong. Oh my! What percentage of people fuck. have held an ice hockey puck in their hands? <laughs> fuck. I mean, most likely people will not talk in the elevator. You're on twenty-eight percent. Everyone pick higher yeah, or happens, lower. But mostly no. Breathe it in. We'll go higher. Hurry up. Oh, right half half. Time. And surveil says. I guess, but uh, it's just forty-eight percent. Yeah. Okay. That'll get you some points. Time. Now we'll do one more. Let's see who got it right. Well done. You get points. Who's oh, next? You say time for that. Okay, computer. What do you have for this one? Truck horns. What percentage of people have gestured to truck drivers to pull their horns? All right, what do you think? Breathe it in. Yeah. I I'm not going much higher. For sure. Unanimously higher. Now let's get to the right answer. Yeah, I, I feel like it's kind of common. I've gestured at a few truckers before, even said something like truckers, but not. They want to honk. Who got but it right? I didn't think that much. Well done. 69% higher. Nice. Uh-oh, final round time. We embedded microchips in hundreds of subjects and found the most all. popular answers to what? this question. With which fandom do the most people identify? Fandom. Let's take a look at the board. You'll need to pick the three most popular answers to get points. Good Wait, luck! None is crazy. Imagine it's none. I feel like these three. Imagine it's none. Remember, you can pick three answers, not just one. Uh. Time getting out. John? Oh, John's sleeping. <laughs> okay, let's see what you picked. Gotta be bronies, right? So many losers. Okay, computer, show us the most popular Spam answers. Spam select none. Yes, no way. Trekkies? What is Trekkies? What is Hoovens? What the fuck? Who's that special Come on, okay, so don't get my milk. Yeah, appreciate it. Breathe it in. Second. Congratulations! You've won a game Save that should probably one. be illegal. I'm so proud of you. Hey, okay, so yeah, don't take, don't take my milk, bro. Those popular oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. All right, voting time. This is uh, democracy. No rigged elections here. Alright, 
What we playing? Quiplash? I guess Quiplash? Probably. Oh yeah, and who, who to raid it as well. Spam. Is that Spam's alt account? <laughs> um, everyone in? I guess so, yeah. Someone is trying to be you. Yeah. It's time for Quiplash with your host, Josh Schmitty Schmidtstenstein. Who's me? Oh, that's me. I'm Schmitty. I knew that. Surely this is, this is all going I hope you're ready because there is literally nothing writing on this. Here's round one. You'll get two prompts on your device. Just answer them however you want. Your responses, or quips, will be pitted against someone else's, and everyone will vote on their favorite. You'll score points based on the percentage of people who prefer your answer. Have at it. Hit the safety quit button if you can't think of something. Ten seconds. All right. Let's see those quips. Our first prompt is... The 1960s Batman was so goofy, one episode saw Batman and Robin fighting blank. Fighting anti-mask. Okay, everybody pick your favorite. Dexter. Who's Dexter? Oh, that's from the Batman series. Fair enough. I assume Dexter is like lower or something. Coming up next, Dexter Laboratory. An odd thing to find in a cave painting. I guess. Get to voting. Was Mark for not knowing? Big Rhino Elephant, Patrick and Simpson and Joe Biden. What? I mean, I guess 
that would be odd. <laughs> And next is a great line to use to insert yourself into any conversation. Ready, set, vote. So Did somebody say me? Last time you called. Ah. No come. Next in line, what a I'm moron surprised would say like a zero, but I, but I not. Vote on your devices. Where's all the paint? Was this made by Skibbity? Where's all the paint? That doesn't make sense. But I... Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Next, a surprising find at Bill Clinton's garage sale. This is killing me. Okay, vote. It's a holiday party. A pair of women's platform shoes. Safety. Fair enough. <laughs> Round one's done. Thanks, Let's see kids. who's in the lead. Yeah, I wonder. Yeah. I thought about John is kiss. It's round two time, and everything's worth double. Don't let those points go to waste. We lagging. Lots running I out, think fast, or use a safety quip. Ten seconds. <laughs> I sold. Great, let's see what we got here. First one, a complaint only a lumberjack would make. There's not enough Okay, pick your favorite quip food. now. Timber, why isn't it falling? Sold honestly, but I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. And next, something you don't want to find in your grandpa's tool yeah. shed. Fair enough. It's voting time. Sex toys. The French flag. What? Next, how did the ghosts in Pac-Man die? Eating a Put in ghost your woman's dildo, Pac-Man ate them out. Hey, yo. You read it wrong? What? Still, still 50-50. 
weird flicks. Moving on. First draft movie line. Go ahead, make my blank. Vote now. Dick move, you can't. PP released a juice from fear. From fear is crazy. Spam and kiss are bonding, man. <laughs> Next up, a good name for a band whose lead singer is a goat. Float away. It's a goat, actual goat. I think Hunger's Extreme Edition. The screaming Demons. Communication telepath. Yeah. I guess. We've reached the end of round two. Let's see what happened. Kiss is last. All right. Round three has so, arrived. The last last. So. You're all going to answer the same prompt, so pull out all the stops. Comic. Here we go. Finish the comic. Where to? Maybe I cooked, I don't know. 30 seconds. You're worse at these? Bro, you still got time though. Mm -hmm. 30 seconds left to think. But uh. 20 seconds. Everybody's in. Name Brandon, in enough. the final round, you can See, give out one gold, one silver, too. and one bronze medal to we your top three your whips. Mom, Make them brown, count. Brown. Honeycon, EDP's house, to USSR. Okay. Seconds. Someone didn't vote. Great, let's see where those medals ended up. Bronze. Here's the silver. And finally, gold. Oh. All right, let's turn I mean, that into cold it. hard points. Still. Curious one. Right. Okay, let's see those final scores. Oh, everything stayed the same. Wait, that's insane. Everything stayed where it was. Wait, you were kiss? Oh shit. I actually thought. Oh wow. Well, congrats, though. For the win, Curious. I was not expecting it was Sabin. I thought some random dude joined who had the same, like, uh, thinking as, uh, spam. Uh, but I. Right. Who we. Who we rating? We rating. Hulk again? No one knew? You got none? It was 
would make his day? I guess, fuck it. He barely gets raided. Oh, but... No, where is it, no, General? No. 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 Uh, no. He's not even... Yeah. I'm trying to pull your thing Yeah, up sure, Chase. Well, why not just, you know, wear that to on stream? On yeah, go to that, man. Brother, my cock would be hanging out. You get a thing. ton of viewers. Hey, I'll yo. Them for you. Okay. I mean, let's hope it goes back, but I. Raid. Crazy convo, though. Well, as always. Love all your You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. I'm not that guy, but I am that fellow. But yeah. Penis. So um, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed your stay. And uh, yeah. Peace out and good night. Frogberger raid. Oh, uh, that's actually cool as fuck. Um, yeah, I, I would assume he's not that dev anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know with Roblox. I like it personally. Oh man. Okay. I think it's yeah. I he's think also already fired. Never mind. I think you should post it. It looks per perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's thank you. He was also fired two days ago. <laughs> yeah, there's cosplays and shit. Um, boots. Wiggy, wiggy. What? what? No, what? what? Oh my god, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I time to test if it works then. <laughs> I no more chemical. Ray Lil Autismo. Wait, what happened to chemical? <laughs> Kamikaze Demon 66 is now following. No, for like two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> Real legend like strip your Elfie Solomon yeah, is man, now following. Man, I'm not doubling like it. I'm, I'm I'm quadrupling it. Can I get a shout out in the chat though? For <laughs> oh no I more Parker. <laughs> yeah, we did that literally five minutes ago. <laughs> Rob Burger now instead of. <laughs> yeah, no more. I, no, I no, banned that. <laughs> I'll give you a follow. L, L, L. L the band name, <laughs> hell. Just kidding, L was bad. No more Brug Bur. Uh, this is great. <laughs> yeah. You got. Well, you don't know what the fuck yeah, happened, but... Like, <laughs> 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 and what...